Now, in true Sayu fashion, I will be the last one to finish this Pentacone quest. So let's get to it. Let me know what the game is too loud. Hey, Seriana. Thank you to the settees. That's what you get for being all busy. I know. So many red dots. Chat, it is literally a brand new computer. It's going to reset everything. It's literally... Okay, maybe I haven't responded to these text messages. You know, so... Maybe there's also that. Like, literally, this is like my first time launching the game on this computer. Like, I don't know what you want from me, chat. Hey, thank you for the subs. Man, I guess it's... Seven months. I'm always so late to post these. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Yeah, uh, as you can tell, I did not these. You a voice actor? I just want to know. Here, I'll make it as easy as possible. I'll change the title. Yes, I voice Jing Yuan. Now, finishing HSR 2.1. Boom, I got you. Thank you for the sub. Man! I guess it's that time, huh? You know chat don't read. That is true. I have to say though, chat, sometimes you gotta make it like absolutely like obvious as possible. Because like I went to a coffee shop today and let me tell you, on the sign it says it closes at 6, right? Hi. So I was like, oh, hey, thank you for the sub, emo kitty. I was like, oh, we'll just go in, get a quick bite, and then leave. Uh... It's currently, at the time, it was like 4, um, <coughs> it was like 4.50, right? Uh, and literally, the waitress was like, well, you better hurry up, we close in like 5 minutes. And I was like, what? Yeah, we close in 5 minutes. Your sign says you close at 6. And she goes, what? And she looked at the sign. And she's like, what? And then she talks to her manager, and her manager's like, it's on the paper. There's a piece of paper under the sign that says they close at 5 now. But here's the dilemma, though. Yes, I can't read. Obviously. We've been known this. Here's the dilemma. Why wouldn't you put that sign over the original time? Like, am I crazy? Like, at that point, it's it, it just feels like it's a notice to be like, you know, like, dude, like, just put it over. And I know, chat, and here's the thing. I know that some folks will be like, oh, well, Sai, you got to give it time for them to change the actual, like, tape, uh, like the, the, the sign on the door. You know, you have to give them time. So, before I left with my friend, I read the piece of paper. You know what it says? It's not just, we close at, like, 5. It says, as of January 2024, our hours, uh, our hours will be from, like, 7 to 5. Since January, you haven't fucking changed that? Nah, fuck them. I felt bad at first, and I was like, there is not us. And by the way, we were not the last people. Like, ten other people showed the fuck up after me and my friend. So I was like, nah, you guys gotta fix that. You guys have to fix that. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Because there's, like, absolutely no way anyone's paying attention to that little piece of paper that is under... There's just no fucking way, chat. You know what I mean? I'm just getting rid of our dots. Because I know some of the chat's no. going to be like, Ah, look at all the red dots. Hey, thank you for the sub. 
I missed the last stream, but I'm so glad I got to meet you at Anime Boston. Oh, well, I'm glad. I was the one who drew for Gravate and your model. Oh, nice! Animating Sinos architecture joke to Carve. Thank you for the amazing puns. Absolutely. Have a great rest of your day. Well, thank you. You too. Was it on April 1st? It was literally earlier today. What are you talking about? I, it's literally, it was, it literally happened earlier today. Question, how's the new PC? Great. Uh, and if you want that PC, make sure to go to Starforge. Exclamation point Starforge if you want yours. Hi, Use the code Sayu. I'm messaging this because Twitch won't shut up about it. Lol. Hey, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. All right. No one's going to look at that paper. I agree. A hundred percent. Yes, I know. I know. I have a bunch of side quests. They're all from Pentaconi. Relax. Well, except for the Herd of Space Station and the Love Food one. But everything else is from Pentaconi. Relax. And that's a daily mission. That doesn't count. Having fun in Pentaconi? Yes. And again, chat, if anyone spoils. <clears throat> you will be banned on site. Also, Kohi, I don't know if you, uh, uh, I believe, uh, my friend Benjamin sent you a message. I'm just saying. Hey, what up, Moof? Hope, uh, hope you're doing well, Kohi. Hey, thank you for the 23 months. All right, chat. Now, I don't know how much... I don't know how much we have left to do in Pentagoni, because everybody gives me a different fucking answer every time I ask them. They're all like, oh, you've got like another, you've got like another uh, hour, another two, another three. You know what I mean? So uh, I'm just going to assume we're here for the rest of the night. Hey, Blades Boobs, thank you for the sub. So, don't trust them. Go with your gut. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we are going to be primarily focusing. My plan is to get through the story quest and we're done. Right now, we're about a. I think we're looking for drinks for Gallagher. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, can this be used for mixing drinks? Oh, and there's a note underneath. Exchange with your precious things. Oh, what should we exchange hey, for? Hey, thank you for the five gifted. And who should we give our stuff to? I hope it, uh, the audio levels are good. Uh, give praise of high morale. <laughs> give 50,000 credits. Give a bag of trash. Absolutely. You put a bag of trash into the empty cup. Of course you do. Here, let me make my... Hey, what are you doing? You can't just throw trash. I'm giving them flavor, March. Uh, no All right. Way. Changing. Of course they are. Happiness is the dream of the Yeah, humble. it is. Uh, does this mean we can take it? That's right, we can. Something feels weird about this. Maybe if you make it weird. All right. Recycle trash, baby. Look at that snow globe. Uh, ba -ba 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 Collect ingredients. We need more ingredients. At the bar. Hope you all had a good stream. Now, we still got two more in-game days to finish nice. the mission. It's still busy. That means it nothing. Shelf life. Also, chat, I'm going to say it one more time. If there is even an inkling of spoilers, you will be put in sub-only mode. So then, if you want to spoil, you have to pay me money. And even then... If you spoil when in sub-only mode, we will still ban you. But afterwards, we would have taken your fucking money. So, you know, do you want to save money or do you just want to give me money and still be a dickhead? Wait, never mind. I'll talk about that later. Uh, don't. It's no good. Uh-huh. I, let's just leave it here for a while. And it'll be all right, right? 
Did you know that the 2.1 mission did exists? They sell soul glass Take him out. Bar? Take him out. Happen? Good job. It's all about the bartender's Take him out. It wouldn't make sense for customers to come here and order drinks they can find anywhere else. That's the mindset I use when I brew my coffee. Uh, <laughs> you're right, Himeko. Time also depends well, on how long you do combat and exploring. I'm gonna be well, honest, when it comes sure to exploring, I'm just gonna enough. go straight to the uh -huh. thing and then I'm gonna do exploring off screen. Haven't I made myself clear enough? Is this Misha? Tamaki? The Dream Jolt hostelry only welcomes guests who want to enjoy a drink. Damn, to that their was so content. goddamn fast. Oh, well, you fucked I'm up, sorry, chat. But I'm not interested in your proposal. Here, I'm gonna put this. But you have the talent. You'll attract a huge audience. You're destined for the Iris stage, not for this rundown shack. There, I changed Come the title. With me. We'll become the talk. Hey, I think of the 300 biddies. A shining Jokes light into every in corner of the shit wrong game. That's please, Shavana, actually please, fucking you. funny. And yes, that is just Hayden. <sighs> but I'm pretty sure the actor is uh, Lila. As you see, I'm entertaining my guests. Don't make me repeat myself. Fine. If you don't come along, I'll just sit here and not go anywhere else. What a freak. Give me a sparkling drink. Sweet. With extra ice. Uh, Just fucking spoilers. One moment. Not spoilers. Sorry. Stalker. That was deal. Weird. We can't discuss the case with other people hanging around the bar. Hey, can you do that clockwork trick of Hey, thank you for the 30 months, Coolio. <laughs> Just what I've been waiting for. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. Yeah. Also, what the hell happened I'm to my counting on you. Hold on. Relax, relax. How'd that happen? I actually don't know how I did that. Hold on. How'd I do that? Wait a minute. How did I do that? My visor's weird now. Is that on VTS reaction? Oh. Hold on. That was weird. Oh, that was Parker. Yeah, you juggle around and stuff. <laughs> so, you guys having a good day? So, you see, this is why this quest is gonna take like five hours. There we go. What the? It's so weird. Hold on, I have to check something. How did I do that? I'm sure it's a setting. Uh, okay, this is it. Uh, huh. Okay. Oh. Having popped in in a little bit, but hope you're doing well. Oh. There we go. That was weird. What the fuck? That was that was real weird. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Side deleted the headband of his visor. That's all. Yeah. If you didn't notice, you didn't notice. Anyway, don't worry. Time to pull some uh, Mary You're Poppins one of magic. Siobhan's guests, right? What can I do for you? I just don't get why she won't leave. Don't this worry, place. guys. I'm about to perform this some bibbity bobbity boop. With no Call me the fairy godmother. Whatsoever. Cat on dragon. Thank you for the sub, man. The the sub decay must have been crazy. Don't worry, I got this. That is not what I thought you looked like. Start tuning. Bibbidi bobbidi boop. Seen it. Shishro. The moment Think of the sub. When Siobhan and I share the stage. Oh. The crowd is going wild. Applause crashing like waves. The aroma of irises fills the air. Thank you, Myrie. A beautiful you melody playing. Ribbons dancing around us. And the taste is sweeter than honey. I've seen that seen countless um. times in my dreams and every time it mesmerizes me okay 
That's why I have to bring her back to Jack, that question. world. A no matter what it takes. Or B. Gambler adventure and approved. I don't even think Want it changed. Want to raise anything, a glass, actually. my attentive listener? Let's consider it a, a toast to my far-fetched. It said dream. force like HDR, Pass. but uh, it didn't really change anything. A Pandora V. Thank you for the five gifted. Oh, hey, that works. Still not leaving. Oh, oh, didn't. I just don't get. Try reading her thoughts. I got this. Hmm, maybe we should make her angry. Then they'll kick her out. Those darn Iris jerks! Iris? They're the ones who forced Siobhan into hiding here. Running this. So I was joking about how bar. this woman is a stalker. She's 100% a stalker. Scheming. Huh. I get it now. She's not leaving because she doesn't want to run into them again. Oh. I I can help clear the way for her. I can do her a favor. I'll go back and write a letter to the Dream Master exposing the crimes committed by the Iris family. Okay. Siobhan will definitely appreciate it. Uh, so you're leaving? That's what I heard? You're not leaving. Things might get out of control if she gets the- I All just right. don't get- Oh, uh, we'll calm her down, I guess. I mean, I you. hi. It going? It's going Love well. Streams slash vids Thank you. Thank you, Blip. I appreciate you. You're one you. of Siobhan's guests, right? I'm so what far can I do for you? In this game. If you're here Only to convince me to Oh my god. Please, stop I'll give it a sub. I'll never leave. And I just don't get why she will. Hmm. I you guess Siobhan, calm won't I work. Enjoy the pain. Enjoy the pain? Bet. Time to make this bitch sad. Goo goo gaga wah wah wah. It's ridiculous, right? Our paths were never meant to cross, yet I'm still holding on to her. I'm too timid and shy, longing to shine, but afraid of stepping into the spotlight. You heard it here, sidelights to make the ladies cry. Because Mwah. I'll never Mwah. be able to do anything alone. One of my favorite things to do at cons, by the way, is fans will sometimes want to do like, you know, the heart symbol thing at uh, cons. You know, they'll be like, heart. I hit them with a thumbs up. And they get sad. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm a married man. You are not getting a fucking heart from me. You get a thumbs up, pal. That's what you get from me. <laughs> and I will continue to do so. Just a heads up. There are any pigs? Yeah, I'm sure there are some pigs. You don't know Siobhan's past. And you married have no bros? How radiant. If anything, we do the arm she class. used to be. Even among the talented Iris family, her skill. Oh my I god, know. bro, you're boring me. You feeling an, it, like this is probably the most filler. Um the most filler Star Rail has well, been. Talking to you has got me feeling a bit down. Yeah, I the feeling my is mutual. Are swirling, making my Goodbye. Baby. Here's the payment for the trip. Thank you for the money. Goodbye. Yeah, left? <sighs> That's good for her. Radiant dreams may be enticing, but they're nothing more than dreams. Hey, B Pet, thank you for the six months. Her drink is on the house. Please. Keep and I keep money. When you're ready. Bless. Go to Gallagher. I shall, I finally. Can. Oh my god. This side plot. Continue collecting ingredients. Say less. I found something on the floor. Uh, An hey, ingredient. Look at all these chips scattered everywhere. A few days ago, an actor from the Iris family came. Caused a ruckus with Siobhan. All right, chat. I'm going to be Those honest. Am I the only one that thinks that Gallagher sound, has like a similar talk, like speaking cadence to Sampo? 
It's not the same voice. It's the, the way he talks. Like it's the cadence. There is a difference in what I mean. Hey, Phoenix, thank you for the sub, and Yuki. The person who tried to spoil Sai. Fuck you. I'm going to enjoy the stream now. Fuck you. Sai, you take my money out of spite slash pause. Hey, I appreciate it, Phoenix. And Yuki, thank you for the sub. Oh, God. Thank you for the 33 hey, Sai, months. It's Hi. Been 33 months. Time flies so fast. <laughs> That's a clever metaphor. Anyways, I'm not gonna do L underscore. As usual, instead, I'll leave this bomb and nothing will happen. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um. Ladies and gentlemen and non binies if you could please step out of the vehicle, uh, the Astral Express is about to have one last send off in three. Well, and never nothing mind. Happened. Well, uh, anyway, get back in the train, because we're a chugging chat. My bad. Uh, that being said. Opening a Literally, bar in this the place, victory was horrible, filled with monsters, is quite a nom, feat. Nom, nom, Siobhan nom, nom. must have a lot of tricks up her sleeve, right? Sure. You'll have to ask her yourself to find out. But I have a feeling she won't budge unless you impress her with an incredible dream. Unless you impress her. All right, I got a, a thingamajig. Optional, continue. What more ingredients could we get, my guy? Wait, why am I doing this? I don't care. That being said, so go ahead. Explore the bar and bring me any ingredients you prefer. Bet. Nice work. Let me take a look. You ah, you've got a piece of crab. A piece there. of crab? And now, a piece of crab. Take your pick. Each drink has its own unique flavor, and the base ingredient sets the tone for the initial nah, taste. Nah, feel free to give some lingering after. If they spoil, don't worry. The so, mods got him. Which one would you like to use as the base? I would like to use the grape soda. As the, the original base. formula is said to be Hanunu's favorite drink. It's sour and bitter, and the bubbles burst in your throat like so. Guys, Gallagher is just Ridesley's fucking uncle, right? Of dungeons and like prisons. that's what he is, right? Now that you've chosen the base, it's time to pick the adjunct. The ingredient that'll create a marvelous chemical reaction. They even share a tie. It should give an unforgettable taste without overpowering the main tone. So, what's your choice for the adjunct? Hey, Vikachu! With the how many is it? Twenty gifted. Let's go, Vikachu! I want to use a bright future, eternal endurance. That just looks gross. High stakes. You know what? Put this some chips is the in the drink. Pungent adjunct we have. And my personal favorite. Oh Before no! Before Mikhail left, put some chips in there. The wrinkles at the corners of his eyes had deepened, like knife cuts. Hey, yo, you he good? He mumbled, his breath too weak to climb up uh, his throat. Uh, Gallagher? Caught up in his chest. You good? But I could smell it. The lingering scent of Penacony itself on that night. Uh, Gallagher, you going through it? Mikhail. Almost there. Let's pick a decoration. Which style do you prefer? Is he reading Anything smut? You need, I've got it. My guy opened up a book of thorn and roses. A court of thorn and roses. You know, a book might as well. Hola, abuelito. ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo andas? Muy bien. You gotta give the, you guys the pill ASMR. Straws with concentric circles. Anu sign. Coin shaped the lemon IPC's slices. The IPC's favorite. Hmm. Ambitious, aren't you? What are you telling my fortune? Well... It's done. Bet, show me. Here's to you, innovator. I'm not gonna lie. This class of time to murder and create. I kind of love that. To great vengeance. I kind of fucking love that, actually. <laughs> well done, Gallagher. You're not over the hill Dude, yet. Dude, my watch is freaking the <laughs> actual fuck so out. So are you I'm satisfied? going to turn it off. I'm only here for oh, The flavors. They're way more sophisticated than Soul Glad. The richness and layers of these flavors are a masterpiece, especially with the adjuncts. I can taste the spicy and sour notes with a hint of sweetness. I'm not entirely sure what it all means. 
maybe Mr. Gallagher can shed some light on it. <clears throat> well, if you're expecting a profound answer, I'm afraid I'll disappoint you. The imagery it implies is pretty straightforward. It's just a glimpse of what this I dream truly drink, tastes I like. Hmm. Nothing more. Nothing more. Does this true taste have anything to do with that, Mikhail? I heard his name yeah. in his dream. That name does sound familiar. When you got knocked out by that masked fool girl, I think I heard someone calling that name. Do you remember? <sighs> hmm. <laughs> I was right about you. You guys seem to know quite a bit. And now there's no reason to hide anything from you anymore. There it is. Let's dig deeper into the case. And of course, I'll tell you a story about Mikhail. Oh. You're just going right. to tell us. Let's start with what we know based on the clues the family has. It seems that Firefly isn't a local or an invited guest. In other words, she's a stowaway. She managed to fool me at first. My age must be getting the best of me. Ah, you're old. But here on the planet of but festivities, so stowaways are a common sight. You're bound to run into one sooner or later. After the incident, the hounds wasted no time searching for that girl in both mm. the dreamscape and reality. that lore chat. That sweet old lore. We only received bad news, and the trickiest kind at that. She simply vanished, leaving no trace in the dreamscape or reality. As if she had never come to Penacony at all. Huh. Huh? Does that mean... She did. Death eradicated her. Maybe things will turn out different than we think. Is she a g g g g g ghost? <laughs> a clever metaphor. Um, you, you were making a metaphor, right? Yes. Let me be frank. I sure was. This case, actually, is unlike anything the Bloodhound family has dealt with before. Dealt with before? So, Sorry. death does happen in Panacone, uh... if I understand correctly. You've witnessed it, so there's no need to hide. Even the shiniest city has its dark side. Mm. We're all adults here. Surely I don't need to explain oh, too no. much to you. Confronting the family based on that alone would be naive. Death may occur in sweet dreams. So what? Such events are highly unlikely and only affect a tiny number of people. Mm. If you really want to delve deeper into this case, you need to understand the true problem with the family. Oh? I guess it's, it's time Sunday. To tell Sunday's the, story the problem, Chad. You're very perceptive. The Astral Express has received that music box too, right? Do you know the secrets it holds? No. There's a message. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father yeah. of Penacony, and thus the answer to the question, why does life what slumber? If? Oh, right. <laughs> That's the exact wording. Hey, why are you laughing? Because it's funny. Wait, did you write it? It's quite poetic. No, but I'm the officer in charge of this case. So how could I not know? I'm sure you must have noticed that this message didn't come from the family. You might have even guessed that the relationship between the family and the watchmaker isn't as close as it seems. That's just our speculation. Actually, it's hard to believe that the father of Penacony and its actual managers are at odds. Now I can assure you that your speculation is absolutely correct. The family has considered the Watchmaker an enemy for a long time. Mm. But the Hounds haven't been able to track No, they haven't down. announced Sunday's VA yet, seems no. To be living only in Mocha the Sweets! Thank you for the five gifted. Created. Let me ask you a question. I do know Have who it is, though. Have you wondered why the family allowed I won't tell the you. Watchmaker to send out such a ridiculous message to the outside world? Inviting you here and causing chaos? So, you want to seize this Needy opportunity to, the four to expose months. the Watchmaker. Well, now you understand why the Oak family authorized the Nameless to assist in the investigation, but kept you in the dark, right? I guess so. Because the Watchmaker 
is not the legend of the land of the dreams at all. He's the most shameful stain in the oh. history of Penacony. And he's the root cause of all the anomalies in the dreamscape. I guess. Hey, Kenny Cat, thank you for the two months. But what does this have to do you with Mikhail? Well, I mean... Mikhail, the betrayer of the family, he's the watchmaker. Hmm. Ah. Sometime later. Hey, Cold Healer, Here thank you for the sub. Clock Studios Theme Park, the most popular entertainment center in Penacone. Wait, aren't we supposed to be discussing the watchmaker? Man, that I would piss me off. I would you to take us to maybe a library or an archive room of sorts. But an amusement park? You gotta go see the watchmaker the himself. The culture of a city reflects there he its is, history Clocky. in the most authentic way. To you, it's a fun place. But to me, it's a prison for the planet's past. Damn. You know that Penacone used to be the IPC's prison planet, right? I did not, actually. All the prisoners were brought here, helping the Garden of Recollection salvage the leaking memoria. Ah, uh, that's board. actually crazy lore. The prolonged exposure to high concentrations of memoria caused a unique phenomenon. The dreams of countless prisoners intersected and overlapped, and people started meeting each other in their dreams. Living lives that were almost identical to reality. Damn. But everything has a price. And sweet dreams are no exception. Sweet dreams the end, are made of the dream. The dream world was unable to alleviate the suffering I? of prisoners in anyway. reality. One of the prisoners broke free from the IPC shackles and fought for freedom. Freedom. He is Hanu. The Hanu? great leader of Dreamville. The great peacemaker. And the faithful companion of the underdogs. So the character Hanu is based off a real life. So then Clocky is the watchmaker. History is always written by the winners. However, it's undeniable. Bro, oh, Penacone is such a good story. Holy shit. That draws from Penacone's actual history. These characters not only exist in Dreamville, but also in the distant past. Once you realize this, you'll understand why we're here. We're going to go see the watchmaker. There are so many members of the Bloodhound family around here. They just received a lockdown order, supposedly from Sunday himself. Who knows what it's for? Ah, uh, Disney World. Disney Lane. All right, chat. I'm going to give you one last chance. I tend to do this. But I'll give you one last chance. If you spoil... Or even joke about spoilers. <laughs> We're going back in sub only <laughs> mode. So, uh, yeah, there you go. This is your final warning. Behave. Jing Yuan is, uh, beautiful. Put it back in sub only mode. No, I'm just kidding. Fuck you, Disney. Huh. So There's many the watchmaker. I've never seen anything like this. Even when they're tracking down suspects. Uh, can you convince them to let us in? We don't need to go in. We don't want to draw any unwanted hey, attention Zemos, inside. Hey, uh, the most is just talk here. Prime. Sub only Let's was find a nice. Quiet spot and continue don't our worry. conversation. Don't worry, we'll get back there eventually. View here is great, right? We can see everything from here, including Clocky. Yep. If all the characters in the mm -hmm. animation are based on characters in reality, then Clocky's counterpart is definitely the Watchmaker. That's what they want you to think. You see, Clocky isn't actually the Watchmaker. Clocky is the Watchmaker's long lost lover. So, the actual Watchmaker is Death itself. And Death was fucking around with Clocky. <laughs> anyway. In the animation, he's Hanu's partner and one of the founders of Dreamville. Does that mean the Watchmaker was personally oh, no. involved in that war oh, brother, and sided with us, stinks! It was a monumental war for freedom. Hanunu fought alongside a motley crew of masked fools, hey. nameless, hey. history fictionologists, I don't know those, mourning actors, and hey, that sounds cool, omen vanguards, that sounds badass, 
even visitors from beyond the sky. Hey, that's me. In the end, they emerged victorious. Let's go. Among them was the person who would eventually be known as the Watchmaker. Let's go. But if you do the math, doesn't that mean the Watchmaker was around for several centuries? Yes. I'm not sure, but Mikhail was already the Watchmaker when I met him. So maybe he inherited the title. Hmm. How old so? are you now, Mr. Officer? I'm old. Yeah, also think of the sub. I'm 13. Uh, no way. Not even close. I'm 13. So yeah, any of you were simping ah, for no. this man? Jail. Jail. Jail all of you. All of you going to jail. Ridesley's dad. More like Ridesley's son. Hanunu freed the frontier prison. Doesn't even correct it, by the way. Still eluded him. With limited resources, I'm going to pound you until you beg for world, mercy. And internal conflict You're going to jail. between major prison districts, the future of Ostana was uncertain. Bro, I just, he doesn't correct them. So at this point, he's 13. Yes. It wasn't until the watchmaker approached a the fucking family Jojo character the idea right here. of turning the prison into the planet of festivities that Penaconi finally gained its name and glory. Then the family did a good if this was the prison planet. This is <laughs> that's really funny, Majin. You this are right. Like oh no! With Nanami all over again. Get fucked, Monarch. Thus, he became known as the father of Penaconi. Anunu. But peace still eluded him with limited resource. Future of Azdana. It wasn't until the Watchmaker. Ah. But didn't you say the Watchmaker betrayed the family? And you said you were his companion, so that means you. No. I'm not his companion. Huh? But rather one of his many children. Oh my god. So the Watchmaker's your dad? But I am indeed a traitor. Not to the family, but to Mikhail. Are you actually a descendant of Mikhail? That's actually crazy. Hold up. What did you do? <sighs> I did nothing. And that's the worst betrayal of ah, all. Ah, complicitness. I see. Just like you, I had close companions. We dedicated ourselves to Penaconi. But the Oak family, they set us up. Chad, I was gonna say, uh, I was gonna do something, and then I just remembered, as of right now, we, as an audience, do think this man is 13. I mean, he's clearly not 13. Look, I'm just gonna do a thing, and then uh, you guys discern what I was going, yeah, I'll let you guys allude as to what I was going to say. I'm just waiting for someone to chat. So, 13 and dog years. Mm. Nice ass, Gallagher. Jail. Get him, chat. Get him. Get him. Right there. Get Blaz Raptor. Right there. Blaz Raptor. Nice try. I can't believe you would fucking do that. I can't. Un unbelievable. I'm totally fucking with you. Mikhail was too old to protect his children anymore. Wow. So he really is so one of his kids. We left the family. To find our own path. We were branded traitors of the harmony. Even though the true traitors were someone else. While well, they continue to praise the watchmaker's name in the world. I'm going to doors, pound you until you beg for mercy. Who did that? Was that Pikachu? Was that you? No. Vain? Jail. Nevertheless, we wanted to clear his name. We intended to find the real traitor. The one responsible for all of this. And restore harmony to Penaconi. Hey, thank you for the sub. Damn, chat. Too much time had passed. And the land of you the had dreams five had minutes. become deeply corrupted. Five minutes of pure After freedom. countless fruitless pursuits, I gave up. Like hey, Wolven's dog. Raven. Thank you for the you sub. What? Omega, uh, Omega has <laughs> like... Thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. You guys lasted five minutes ah, and someone no. spoiled it. That's crazy. Brother, this guy stinks. So now, chat, if you're watching this and you're behind a dono wall, guess what? 
You have to give me money if you want to try to spoil, you fucking bitch. Anyway, I have to reread that because I got mega distracted. Nevertheless, we wanted to clear his name. We intended to find the real traitor, the one responsible for all of this and restore harmony to Penacony, but we failed. Too much time had passed and the land of dreams had become deeply corrupted. After countless fruitless pursuits, I gave up like a lost dog. Ooh. The family accepted me and made me an officer, supposedly as a form of forgiveness. But it was actually a punishment. Since then, I've been completely cut off from my partners and my past. As for Mikhail, damn, I heard he died in obscurity, in a place where no one could find him. That's when I realized that the Penacony I once knew would never return. How old are you now, Gallagher? Now I actually am curious. Also, I'm even more curious. How old is Misha? We're truly sorry for what happened. But this is not the end of the story, right? Hmm. Apparently, someone has inherited the title of the Watchmaker and has been secretly working against the family all this time. Hmm. I wonder if it's Misha, the person who can talk to fucking Clocky. Well, that's one way to look at it. However, only one member has truly inherited the Watchmaker's Citrin, title. Citrin, thank you for the sub. And Affex, thank you for the prime. Unfortunately, after all these years, I have no idea who that person is. Or if they're even real. Don't you blame or my baby? I'm not blaming Mikhail's shit. Lost soul haunting the I'm just saying that Misha probably has way more importance than we think. So, do you understand why I'm spilling all this info? Because I believe the girl's death must be connected to the Watchmaker's legacy. And at the end of all these mysteries, we will find the answers we are seeking. The answer? Persona? It really no, I'm is just Mikhail's ghost. I want to meet him. If only for the last time. For those who despise me could form a line from here all the way to the entrance of the hotel. Ha! No! Are those willing to look me in the eye and hear me out? Let's just say, there won't be many. Chat, do... Do we know if Penacone is going to last till 2.3? Or is it only going to go till 2.2? And if it's a leak, please do not answer that. Because I'm wondering if it's up till 2.3 and then we go 2.4 is a new area. And then by the time 2.6 after that uh, would be the next thing. 2.3 they said in live stream? Okay. I've told you all I know is a sign of gratitude. Thank you for listening to this old dog. Bark and all. Damn, a 13-year-old dog. Hmm? Uh, something just happened at the theme park. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, good luck to all of you. I guess. How ironic. What's so different between the stowaways rejected by Penacony today and the dream seekers once hailed as pioneers several amber eras ago? Hmm. They're drip. Gallagher does have a troubled past, it seems. I mean, it's Panacone. That While makes Firefly's whereabouts remain a mystery, his stories shed light on our suspicions about the true identity of the Watchmaker, his connection to the family, and the power struggles hidden behind sweet dreams and death. Sweet dreams are... Anyway. Uh, and that the family isn't all that unified. And that death is related to the watchmaker and that clocky is based on the clock. Uh, you're really into clocky, huh? He's just a fictional character, not a real person. Um, actually. Speaking of which, that clocky who only reveals himself to you is quite intriguing. It's a shame we've never met him since then. It would be quite vital in this moment, that actually. lines up with what we've gathered so far. Firefly got involved in this mess because Is of the legacy, or has a... and now we're sure that Aventurine's accusations against Himiko's Acheron are deeper? baseless. No, it's just Himiko isn't cheery-eyed cheery right now. She's in serious mode, so it's just called acting. Exactly. Gallagher suggests that the real traitor is someone else, probably within the Oak family. Now that we've confirmed a lot of our suspicions, Let's take a moment to think about the clues we have. 
Send a message to Welt and see how things are going. All right, let me beep him up. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> How's the progress on your end going? Not too bad. The Galaxy Ranger and I agree that the family might be hiding something extremely important. We're now headed to Dewlight Pavilion. Akron, huh? Didn't Adventuring say she was dangerous? I confirmed that she's on our side. Don't worry. Please wait for a while. I'll keep you posted as soon as I find anything. Dude, that storyline between Well and Akron is fire. Oh, here we go. Akron Are your POV. Companions worried about you? Constantly. They're just checking up on me. Let's get in and get out. Seems they've made some progress. Looks like we're about to enter the oh. depths of Dewlight Pavilion. We going deep. It's been a smooth ride. Almost too smooth for a heavily guarded mansion. Hmm. Let's, Let's get in there. If there's Timeless dummy, think of it in three months. Us. Let's get in there, baby. <laughs> uh -uh. Acheron. Ooh, I like the music. Are we gonna run into Sunday again? All right. Oh, this is already open, I guess. Something feels off. Yeah. A grand mansion like this and not a butler or servant in it is sight. Kind of Could it be due to the disruption caused by the emergency? Hmm. Well, this door is open. Looks like we'll have to investigate ourselves. Let's proceed with caution. Just one moment. Oh. Akron draws her blade slightly. Within a moment, her breath becomes in. What? Light. Faded breath. I've made myself less noticeable. The crew can explain their presence as authorized by the family, but I can't come up with any excuses for being here. True. I see. What an interesting technique. Bet. Stream four. Oh. Clean the old place. Take this. Take this. Oh my God. <laughs> Bro, she's broken. You love to see it. The model in the sand pit. It's the golden hour, isn't it? Maybe the heads it's of the, the dark hour. Model from the footprints here. Bro, this game is different from the rest. There are two sets ba, of ba, ba, na, na. Looks like uh, outsiders uh. Had passed through here not long ago. <clears throat> yeah, because this is where we were with Adventurine. This seems like it could open. I'm just. It's tough to skip. You are skipping on literally the best unit of the game at the moment. Bro, the amount, the difference between Acheron and everybody else is actually insane. Bro, it doesn't matter how well built your Jing Yuan, your Zilas, your like Embibido Unes, your Blades, your Jing Liu's, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. How strong they are. My Jing Yuan does 300k. I'm sure a well built fucking like Embibiru Lune or Blade could do like 500. Maybe Jing Liu could do that. This bitch does like 3 million. You know what? Just for that. Let me hit you with one of these. Boom. Wait, then. Yeah, that's right. Let me hit you with one of these. Lol, imagine. I can. Because it's happening right now. Watch. Five star. Fuck. Anyway. Damn! Nick just can't get enough of me. Anyway. It was actually crazy. I uh, pulled so many Three, Gallaghers four. for people at the con. Uh, it was a lot of fun, actually. Hey, I think for the seven months. My Akron's done 800,000. Dude, that's actually there aren't insane. People in this mansion. They've set up quite a few mimetic guards. Dude, this guard this looks place. crazy. This fucking Megazord. Ooh. Oh, why is it so Can slow? You find the answer? Okay, that actually went hard as fuck when it dropped with the beat. 
That's actually insane. There's more to life. Doom, 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 doom. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Sorry, that just looks like a shit. Oblivion. Great and elegant. For oblivion. Mm, 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 you mm, chose the mm. wrong enemy. <laughs> Another journey from the still waters of oblivion. Some value I get. Me. Dude, Panagoni's music is just actually something. crazy. What'd you drop? A uh, note. Looks like instructions from the butler for the other servants. It seems like the mansion's entire workforce were assigned other tasks before Robin's death. It must safe have been for a Hill? big project. Dude, I have Akron I need to, but power. I don't have it fully built. The Charmony Festival, perhaps. But no matter what their main priorities are, there should always be someone left at the mansion. Chat, I'm gonna be honest. There's something I I, I want to do with you guys. Whenever there's just like a stream where I'm like, I don't know what to do. You know, just like a for fun stream. I want to have streams where we just like build units. Like we just chill, have a good time, just talk about stuff. And we just go down the list of units that I should be building. And we just go from there. That's something I want to do. That's the main reason why I got all of my characters to level 80. It's literally to, to just be able to do stuff like that. So. So you're saying... Someone deliberately cleared the place out. Yeah, but I don't know why. When we have the time. I really need a job. Hey. Why. Oh, thank you for the 12 months. Simba, we have way more time now because of Persona. But uh, we're, when we're done with Persona, so, you know. Uh, -na 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 -na. Let me get in there. No one here either. Ah. I want to be in no the room where it happens. Us. Let's make ourselves at home. Stay close to me so that my white can cover you too. Damn. I gotta be white. I'm just kidding. I'm not ready. As soon as I and the rest of the crew arrived in Penacone, Mr. Sunday and Robin showed up to greet us. I remember hearing something I probably should have read that. unusual in her voice. And now it seems I was right. All right, I'll read, I'll read it, I'll read it, I'll read it, chat. Relax, relax, relax! ...tampered with somehow. But as far as I know, there aren't many entities capable of interfering with the power of paths. Meaning? If there really is a traitor within the family, that person must hold a high position or possess unimaginable strength. That would explain why Mr. Sunday has been having such difficulty in catching the traitor. Hmm. All right, all right, I'll, hold on, hold on. Wait, can I not read it anymore? Because that would be bad. An archive, maybe? Bookshelf? Okay, 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 okay. It's in bookshelf. Recipe, recipe, recipe. Dr. Ratio's notes. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on, chat. Hold on. Journey of the Moles. Um. Well, fellas, I guess, uh... I guess uh, we won't be able to read those. It was a letter from Robin. It's fine. It's talking about how she can't talk or whatever the fuck. I don't know what you expect from him. Nope. All right. Hold on. 
Letter from Robin. Penacone. Uh, letter from Robin Penacone. I found it. Relax. I found it. I found it. <clears throat> A letter from Robin. Dear brother, how are you doing these days? I had intended to visit you at Dewlight Pavilion as soon as possible upon my return, but with the approaching Charmony Festival and your busy schedule, I refrain from troubling you. However, an urgent matter compels me to share something with you immediately. Since my return to Pentacone, I have experienced a peculiar change in my voice. At first, I thought it was caused by exhaustion or illness, but after consulting with doctors, they assured me of my perfect health and dismissed my concerns. Thank you for the sub. However, my voice worsened over time, and I even experienced periods of complete voice loss. Yo, talking to a voice actor, I get that. In order to find answers, I conducted many private investigations using my idle time out of rehearsals, of course. Eventually, I realized that the harmony in Pentacone is not pure. A discord pfft, lurking within has tainted my voice of harmony, which I believe to be the root cause of my vocal issues. I immediately realized that such levels of interference can only occur if either a powerful external force is pulling the strings or if a senior member of the family is involved. Unfortunately, further investigation has led me to the latter conclusion. This is an extremely alarming discovery. A traitor has emerged within the family in Penacone, and it is highly likely that this, one, uh, this person is one of the four family heads. I trust you implicitly, dear brother, because of our promise. With the Charmony Festival on the horizon, I fear this person intends to it impede its progress or even use the festival for some ulterior motive. At any rate, I suggest you monitor the other family heads while also prioritizing your own safety. You are the only true family member I have left. There was another matter. Oh, thank you for the raid. I appreciate it, Bill. What up, Bill? How's it going, homie? It was nice seeing you earlier today. I'm just reading this letter that I decided to skip because I'm an idiot. Um... There is another matter that requires our attention. During my investigation, I learned about the memory zone meme, Death, and my further inquiries led me to believe that the culprit who directed it to cause this series of incidents is likely the aforementioned traitor in the family. Um, let's see. Uh, I have collected more clues and am prepared to verify my hypothesis. Rest assured, you, can't, you can just focus on the preparations for the Charmony Festival. Once I've thoroughly investigated death, I'll come and meet you immediately. It won't take too long. Um, given your heavy workload, please take care of yourself. Don't stay in the dreamscape all the time. Spend some time in reality when you are free. I've brought you some more specialties from other galaxies. Uh, giant Mo pudding tarts from uh, Marillions and strawberries from uh, Akin Akonyako, known for their exceptional, exceptional size and sweetness, which I'm certain you'll enjoy and almond uh, merengue cream cracknels from Medicia. Don't forget to enjoy them. Maybe Shipe be, may Shipe be with us. Um, yeah. There's the letter. I read it. Also, Bill, if you're wondering why we're in sub-only mode, it's because chat was spoiling. So. Answerall, a male... Halovian was dragged into the sea uh, by an unknown meme while sunbathing on the beach in the moment of Oasis. Subsequent search and rescue operations proved unsuccessful. Note, this was the first case. Can't tell if anything is wrong. Insufficient investigation? Muri, a male from Sienjo, entered a spheroid in Golden Hour and mysteriously disappeared. Oh. Emeka, a female. Weber, a pale. A male. Pepeshi. Shemet, a male. Pepeshi. Beckham, a male human, Katia, a female Foxian, a bloodhound, uh, Janet, a female human, a monk. Oh my god! This list comprises over a hundred cases related to memory zone meme death. However, the author of the list seems to still struggle with figuring out the pattern. The information about Robin, ah. Firefly, and the other victims. I don't see any commonalities among them. Looks like the rumors were right. Death does seem to be targeting random victims. And based on Sunday's notes, he's no stranger to death. He's just surprised that it has resurfaced. Jesus. A hundred fucking deaths. This light cone is securely guarded. It must hold some important memories. Well, yeah. 
it's Robin According to Robin's interview, Sunday. despite having performed on so many grand stages, her favorite performance was a, a pretend show she put on with her brother when they were just kids. I wonder how their relationship is now. Dead. Growing up brings... Yeah, time as a way of smoothing things out. The beautiful dreams of youth. Hey, I think of the sub. Oh, dude, this dumbass wouldn't leave the fucking... Esteemed head of the Oak family. The investigation into all suspects involved in the death case has been concluded. The findings are summar summarized below for your review. Respectfully, yours, Esme Drott. Buying a general shaft from the Oak family, short, gray, leading a laid-back lifestyle, often caught slacking off work. Percy, Oak family. There's a bunch of the Oak family. Ah, I'm not reading all that. There are a total of 52 suspects on the list, followed by Sunday's note. Perhaps there's a common thread among them. I have reached a conclusion. Mr. Sunday has done some serious research on his suspects. This traitor must have been Better, causing trouble for the family for a long time. They all seem to be insiders, but I haven't met any of them. Huh? Wait, these characteristics... What is it? No, nothing. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. However, if this traitor really exists, could they be responsible for Firefly I and mean, Robin's deaths? Yes. Probably. Perhaps that's why Sunday is taking this matter so seriously. Hmm. It doesn't seem like the clockmakers, um, the, the watchmakers, um, a letter from Alfalfa. Alfalfa to Sunday. I have, well, there goes my ring. I have been informed about Robin and I would like to express my deepest condolences. However, I must remind you that you now hold the position of not only her, her elder brother, but also the head of the Oak family. Your every action has impl implications for all of Penacone. As Penacone is going through a critical period, it is crucial that you do not allow your hatred to cloud your judgments and be cautious not to engage in activities that others can use against your leverage. I heard that you are planning to de dedicate a significant amount of time and resources to find death. Such action does not serve the best interest of the family as a whole, and I strongly advise you to reconsider it to avoid p uh, potential impeachments from the family heads. While you are convinced that death is connected to the Watchmaker, I have met that Watchmaker many times long before the Dream Master adopted you and your sister. Who the fuck is the Dream Master? And I have never found any evidence linking him to that memory's own meme. Now that you are the head of the Oak family, uh, it is essential that you assess the situation uh, objectively and consider the bigger picture. It is unwise to allocate all of Penacone's resources and manpower for the sake of a personal vendetta, as this would dishonor the to the Great One. Who the fuck is the Great One? The Charmony Festival is on the horizon, and Watchmaker's guests are all barely holding back their own agendas. Neither you nor I could face the severe uh, consequences if uh, Dominicus' arrival is delayed. Therefore, I urge you to control your emotions and fulfill your responsibilities as the head of the Oak family, focusing only on the festival and avoiding any interference from the external sources. In addition, we must not neglect the honored guests invited by the Watchmaker, as mishandling this matter could lead to diplomatic conflicts with other major factions, involving us in disputes that could have been avoided. As your elder, I hope you comprehend the gravity of the situation and handle it appropriately. As for the matter of Robin, there would be time to pursue it once the festival concludes. By then, I will provide you with the necessary resources and manpower in the name of the Alfalfa family to help you get your revenge. Additionally, I have heard rumors that the Dream Master is not entirely pleased with your recent activities. I advise you to conduct yourself with caution. Yours sincerely, Old Odie. In the rest. It seems neither the Dream Master of Penacone nor this Old Odie is happy with Sunday's recent performance. They don't seem to care much about death. Instead, they're more concerned about the Charmony Festival and the Watchmaker. Maybe the other family heads don't think death is a big deal. One thing's for sure. There's a lot of internal conflict within the family, yep. and everybody I mean, has their I've own been agenda. saying that everybody has had their own agenda since the beginning. That's all for now. Nothing more noteworthy. Get it? Because they've been reading Before notes. Before coming here, I had all sorts of scenarios in my head about dealing with the family. I did not expect an empty mansion. Hmm. Watch out. Someone's approaching. <coughs> oh, shit. 
I don't think trespassing on forbidden areas is the way to be a guest, Mr. Yang. And... Who are you? Acheron? The oh. Galaxy Ranger? Oh, you, you know. Our apologies, Mr. Sunday. Uh, nobody came to greet us, so we entered without permission. Yes. I hope you can forgive us. No. No, I but can't. even if there's no one to greet you, you should wait for the host. Don't you agree? I do agree. Even without the famous Galaxy Ranger. As far as I know, the crew has officially accepted the family's commission. So coming here will be unnecessary for you. On the contrary, that's exactly why we're here. To ask you about the case and gather more information. Ah, look at it. Well Don't on his toes. Hmm. Well, since you've come with goodwill, I have no reason to show you the door. Rest assured, he hasn't figured out that we went through those documents. Why would you say that out loud? Why would you say that right, right in front of him? Why would you say that? Why would you say that? While the truth remains a mystery, I'm getting close to it. I assure you that the traitor will soon pay the price. True. Let's hope justice will prevail soon. I have a question for you, if you don't mind. How did the family come to the conclusion that, that the murderer question. was within the family? I love Well, He's so smart. With all due respect, it's in the IPC's interest to wreak havoc before the that Charmony That is 100% true. And the family been. has every reason to suspect the IPC's involvement. Well, other family heads share the same suspicions as you. But, in my opinion, the true murderer would never have drawn as much attention as that ambassador did. Hmm. Not to mention, I personally shackled him a while ago. Oh. However, I'll give you a suggestion oh, regarding here? your what suspicions, up, Howard? Mr. Yang. You should be more cautious oh. of adventuring. Did he? While the wicked can't break through high walls. Did he announce it, Howard? They can plunge their evil where dagger he, into where the he post heart it? of the righteous. On Twitter? Yeah, I was on Instagram. Okay, but uh, so yeah, it's Griffin Poitou chat. Uh, if you don't know who Griffin Poitou is, he's fucking great. He's Genki in Spider-Man, uh, the Spider-Man video games. He's also uh, you know, uh, Louis in B Stars. Uh, yeah, Griffin Poitou is great. Uh, yeah, love that dude. I got uh really happy that he that he got this boy. He's also in the new Fatal Fury game. He's also Lucifer and Blue Exorcist. Technically, he's my master <laughs> in Blue Exorcist, so that's right. Uh, but yeah, he, he, he's voicing a bunch of other stuff, so, yeah. He's a businessman, not some philanthropist. But right now, he's out there handing out his wealth on the streets. And he went to the Clock Studios theme park all by himself. <laughs> all right, Howard, he relax. Kind of scheme he's relax. <laughs> How you doing, bud? While the family is dedicated to keeping our guests safe, it might be wise for you to stay alert. You never know what unexpected troubles could arise. Arise? Yo, solo leveling? Jesus, arise? He has risen? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna fucking... I'm gonna persona. <laughs> According to a Pierpoint hotline tip, there was a major breakthrough in the shocking Ejhazio Aventurine case. Ah. The suspect has been arrested. Oh? This fraud case has been linked to many departments within the Interastral Peace Corporation and the Intelligentsia Guild, causing a large drain in manpower and resources, resulting in the IPC taking a massive loss. Oh. The case's main suspect originates from Sigonia 4 and is one of the survivors of the second Katika Avjin extinction event who does not carry an interstellar refugee travel permit. Well, damn. Also, chat, it is crazy to me. I would not be surprised if, like, every point two or point three, we get a new planet. Because there's so many goddamn planets in Honkai. There's just so many, so much that I could just see it. You know what I mean? As per Strategic Investment Department head Diamond Sentinels, hey, thank you for the, raid, the IPC has appropriately relocated the suspect in the spirit of the Charter and will continue to conduct further investigations as to the motive of the suspect. Okay, back to lurking. Later, buddy. <gasps> what pretty eyes. 
Tell me, do they shine in the dark? Bro, is this Panacone version of Lisa? I don't care who it is. Damn. Yes, miss. I'm going to pound you until you beg for mercy. That's what she's telling Kave. Well, if they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. Damn. You don't know how many people long for your eyes to be closed forever. Oh. As a servant, you should not resist your master. Yet, you went and killed that man anyway. Respect. Love adventuring. You love to see it. Wait a minute. That hat looks similar to the hat Aventurine wears. No lawyer has the audacity to defend you. Perhaps you ought to represent yourself. Yeah. Represent Not yourself. But definitely pointless. You're pretty confident on your eloquence. Did you also think that when you lied to the Intelligentsia yeah, Guild? Yeah, fuck the Intelligentsia Guild. I'm asking you shall receive. You wanted the perfect construction material. All I did was offer a possibility. It was just a small wager. Simba's like, who that? They just introduced her. Her name is Jade. If your luck holds out, the IPC will dig something up from the golden sands of Ejihazo. Maybe even the Sand King's remains. Yo, Maybe shout out to Sino. Has run out. I'll admit that. What I'm more curious about, though, is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end, including the perpetrator himself. Hmm. Oh, madam, I already have what I want. To be brought before you for the next high-stakes gamble. Damn, what a flirt. Then let's talk about the second gamble. Tell me, what are you prepared to wager this Say time? Say my eyes and I'm gonna lose it. My life. Oh, I was close. <laughs> I bet you won't send me to the gallows. Ooh. Hmm. What do you want then? I want your Lenore to meet with me. Chief. I have something to say. I'm glad the this game has like these little notes and right above what? the words. I want cash. Oh. <laughs> it can't be that simple, can it? Hey, Lila, think of the sub. It is that simple. 30 tonbas. Wait a minute. The remainder of my market value. 30 tonbas. No more, no less. Damn, 30 tonbas. With this money, I'll climb to even greater heights than you. Grasp even more riches than you. <laughs> I wager you won't give me this chance. Which is why you should call him here. Hmm. Interesting. A pity Diamond won't see you. No one gets to see him. From here on out, I am Diamond's representative. And I will decide on his behalf. This is a uh, IPC. Because Diamond is IPC. And I guess Jade makes sense now. Never mind. You're wrong. 30 tonbas. He'll give you that. And much more than that. Wealth. Status. <sighs> power. They were one word away. The IPC will give you whatever you want. Even what you don't want. They were one word away, fellas. Wealth. Fame. Power. The IPC. <laughs> they were one word away, bro. Kakavasha. A good name, but unfortunately destined to be buried in the dirt. You, though, you deserve to live, to create even more wealth for us. Ooh. Go, pick the clothes you like, then choose your desired identity. And then, <laughs> use them well, child. May your plans never suffer failure. Damn. You know, Kingdom Hearts has, may your heart be your guiding key. Honkai Star Rail has, may your plans never suffer failure. <laughs> uh, 
Life is like a long-term investment. Those who choose correctly, do the correct things, reach the correct outcomes, and show the world their value. Man, adventuring going crazy, actually. People can't always make the right choices in their lives. But luck has always been on my side. I've never lost. Dude, he sounds so vulnerable. Is it because Gyathra blesses me? Well, if that's the case, she must also be looking upon me right now. My success is inevitable. But what then? <laughs> Even if I overcome this difficult trial, what would come next? <laughs> what awaits me after this glorious gamble? An even more glorious one? Will I return triumphant with unending riches Bro. after countless successes? Or will I encounter failure never to return? Interesting. Bro. What? What? <laughs> That's really funny. Ah, no. Am I dreaming? Or have I gone completely insane? Definitely completely insane. Perhaps both. Ah. I've forgotten me already. When you were strapped to that electric chair by a mannequin warlords, who was it that gave you the idea? Fine. I may be crazy, but I'm not stupid. Get out of my head, newborn of the Harmony. Oh. <laughs> the Harmony? Oh, don't play the fool. It's not the first time we've met. No need to be so huh. polite. I'm you, and perhaps even more aware of yourself than you. Of what exactly you want. You're dying. And you still want to <laughs> He's so sassy, I love it. Fools with you through death's door. That's why you're here, isn't it? <laughs> A grand unveiling. You really think you can pull it off? <laughs> Why not? Well, you may have fooled everyone, but you can't fool yourself. Hmm. I can show you. Before you're entirely gone, I'll be with you for the last stretch of your road. Let's have a heart to heart while we walk. Damn. <laughs> what exactly are you? I'm you. Most people in this world spend their entire lives just to reach one outcome. Huh? And I am that outcome. What does that mean? Kavisha, I am your future. What does that mean? <laughs> First, I'm hearing things, and now I'm seeing them. <laughs> Kavisha. Am I going to be elevated into the Harmony's Emanator next? Dear Lord, I should probably Just switch. Just a Pepeshi? No. A child? Yeah, hold on. Let me, uh... Oh, press the wrong button. Uh... Let me switch out Locha. I mean, we could try Akron, but my Akron isn't really built. Doesn't even have relics. So, put Jingyu in. A CHILD! I thought miners weren't allowed in Golden Hour. Hey, hey kid. You okay? Are I love you how lost? I love how different Aventurine is now. Aventurine is kind of like the mask is off. I would actually like if anything, I would have liked that that projection was called Aventurine and this is called Kakavasha. Because this definitely feels more like the facade is gone and this is more what he's actually like. Uh, uh, uh. What's wrong, mister? You don't look well. Nice eyes, buddy! Huh? 
Your eyes. Be the same boy? Impossible. Who are you? They're pretty, aren't they? Sis said they're a gift from Mama Fungra. Colorful Gaia, eyes are said to bring good luck. Hmm. Mister, you have pretty eyes too. Are, are you alone? Where are your parents? Dead. They're in that amusement park. Papa and Mama went in first. I'm just about to go look for them. I have to go. Goodbye, mister. Hope you have a good time, too. Okay, goodbye, young child. That is not adventuring. And Mama Thunga. No, no, it, it can't. D damn, where'd the kid there go? There aren't any Avgens left. And that kid is uh, the Flash. Mama, Mama wait for me. <laughs> hmm. Only on Panagoni, am I right? <laughs> Only on Panagoni, am I right? <sighs> what are you still doing here? Well, you've known all along. The family truly showed leniency to everyone who came seeking help. Why would there be a need for such high walls and deep? Yeah, that kid was moving. However, people don't see it like that. Especially since the flavor of the drink syrup is so alluring. Hmm. You will receive no charity on Panicone. And relying on your own strength alone to topple high walls? <laughs> Not a likely feat. Which is why, once you step into the hotel, you remove your high hat and beg everyone oh my God. to come across. Relax. You don't gotta talk to him like that. Scavenging for scraps in the desert. <laughs> because you know that you don't have to like, come at him like that. You don't have to come at yourself like that. Goddamn chill. Oh, when you put it like that, even Ratio's a teeny peacock analogy sounds pleasant. Well, you know how rare it is for me to give you the straight dope. So listen while you can. Yeah, give me that straight dope. That straight dope. It's good timing that you mentioned the doctor. I'm especially fond of what you and he have in common. The conspiracies, calculations, <laughs> especially the part about the finale, a magnificent act of betrayal. <laughs> oh, when everyone thinks this way, mm. who would even suspect that it was another trap you've been taking? Would I talk to my denied? future self like this? I mean, maybe. B can give me some stock tips. <laughs> Go on. Tell me I'm right. You know who you really are, Miss. Mr. Cavalier Gambler, uptight, overcautious, massive inferiority complex. You won so much, and you're still so afraid of losing. Rude. They only see your big bets, your bravado, the full house, the straight bush. They don't know the other hand is below the table, clutching your chips. Dear life. Oh, shit. It's a heck of an app. No wonder the tavern sent you an invite. You're a natural kid. You don't stop at fooling the audience. You fool yourself, too. Damn. Pop off, King. Well, the best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is first being able to fool yourself. <laughs> of course. I know you. you decline that invitation? You had the chance to embrace elation. Was that mm. not what you most wanted? But you chose the IPC instead. What a way to get lore dump, by the way. Talking to yourself. For the preservation? <laughs> I doubt it. Do you even have anything in common with the preservation? Oh, I thought you knew. Didn't you say you had me pegged? Ah. Uh... Uh, phrasing we're done either stop we're done or disappear from my sight we're done that's fine but who exactly is about to disappear here well it's not going to be me anyway it is though but okay look the child after the agony the shouts were cries prisons palaces reverberations <laughs> what the fuck 
Dude, this is so cool. Uh, I broke my game. Ah, playing hide and seek. I'm really good at this. Let me get in that. Uh, there we go. Rotate. There we go. Rotate. Boom. Let's get it. Bing, 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 bing. Hawk, the child. Oh, I'm going to find you. All right. Watch this chat. These idiots ran right past them. Hide and seek. What sweet childhood memories. Look at the but quest he tells. Oh, I saw it find you. How many catechins were like jackals hot on your heels? I know you won't forget that sound anytime soon. Those shrill cackles. You had to hide right under the noses of those savages. Ah. You and Big Sis playing dead, drifting in all that bloody water. Completely ruined that shirt. Wow, you know. Shame. Wasn't that the last one Dad left behind? Uh, thanks. <laughs> it wasn't ruined. I've always kept it. Come on. It's a rag. Not like you can ever wear it. <laughs> now you don't have to hide. You probably won't even deign to get your pretty outfit wet in the rain. Well, your social capital has changed after all. Mm. I've never changed. <laughs> yeah, my uh, my friend Afro said you said I'll never change, and look at him now, fucking liar. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love my buddy Afro. I'm just giving him a hard time. That shit's still funny to this day. Oh, man. On the contrary, now you're the one who does the hunting. The last round of hide and seek, and you get to be it. You should enjoy it. That child. Could he be in here? You are unable to uncover your past. You are. Mm, to uncover your past. Okay. There's a chest. He who once living is now dead. Bitch, bring it back. God damn it. Hey, what's that? This? Hey! A topaz? It is a topaz. Oh, what is this doing here? <sighs> what? Does your cornerstone wrench out of your heart, so? Huh? I was merely curious at why it was here. That winged guy put it here. To taunt you. Just to make you realize that your painstakingly arranged magic show is nothing but a death rattle. My god. He's up, man. He's you. The same as the radiance of Clipon's body. <laughs> I've got to give it to you. I've heard a lot of baloney, but that lie deserves a prize for sheer nerve. If he were just a little bit smarter the jig would have been up right there damn <laughs> this is just, just bait. bait of course that's why ratio's betrayal was one of the keys to your plan i have to say that doctor's acting was superb or maybe he wasn't acting at all all the better for you sunday didn't become head of the oak family by acting sloppy dude that smile on sunday you have to give him enough detail to satisfy his meticulous nature, but not so much that he gets suspicious. Which is why you had Ratio seek him out and leak the plan on purpose. To prevent the other party from suspecting anything. The intel you gave to Ratio was all true. He spoke the same to Sunday. Finally, Sunday took the bait. Topaz. The cornerstone, and before you know it... We're here. Distracted enough for you to steal the third stone 
Huh? Right out from under them. What? Why don't you stop rummaging through my mind? Pure mind. In our what? Mind. You're me, and I'm you. We're the same. The best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is to first be able to fool yourself. <laughs> really? You can't even fool yourself. You just got lucky this time. This is the other cornerstone in Sunday's hands. Rather beautiful green. Just like you. Smooth. Cunning. What the fuck? Tell me. What's its name? <laughs> Why are you even asking me? Ah, must I do all the work? Aventurine is the stone of luck and trickery. That's what she said when he received the stone, wasn't it? Dude, the lore dump. The lore dump. This type of stone isn't rare, but its hue is very similar to a certain gem. In fact, it's often used as a substitute. And that more precious gem is... Jade? Jade. Oh, fuck! That's... Wow! Even Sunday can't tell the difference. Well, looks like Jade can be substituted for a Venturine, too. <laughs> Sauce for the goose. Oh my god. A Venturine, Topaz, Jade. Three elites, three cornerstones who, for a measly panic only, offered their everything. Oh, you're even more united than the family. Dude, a Venturine is... Probably one of the smartest characters As I've in this said entire before, game. Three chips are sufficient. All or nothing. But will it be the former or the latter? <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. So, where's the real adventuring stone? Pick it out. Let's have a look. Uh. <laughs> Suddenly, you don't know where it is? I just want to hear you say it. After all, really does resemble its owner. Wow, the bait that this thing is. As you wish, then. They never went anywhere. They're right where they belong. Hmm. Piled up with these cheap baubles. Ha! Huh. You smashed the adventuring stone before you left. Oh, just look at it. Shattered. Just like your life. Poor thing. A humble pebble coated in the most lustrous sheen. I take it back. This thing is far more precious than your life. Jesus. You're absolutely clear about the consequences of doing this. Blasphemy against Clipoff's body. Cornerstone. You think the IPC will let you get off Scott? Well, Diamond has always been all about results. As long as I could create value far beyond the cost, the ends justify the means. Hey, he's thinking ahead. He's thinking long game. How else would the family be fooled if there was no price to pay? It doesn't matter. Even smashed to smithereens, the preservation's cornerstone can still be used. Its effect may be greatly diminished, but it's enough for me. Why does every step you take involve reckless risks and the choices you prepare for yourself always come with a strong impulse for self-destruction? It's almost like he wants to die. If you truly believe that the greater the risk, the greater the rewards, I wouldn't have guessed you'd be so loyal to the IPC. <laughs> there is so much you don't see. Which is also why you'll never see how I'll win it all. That is... We'll just have to wait and see then. Ugh, the cornerstone is gone. Another illusion of the heart. What the fuck? Hey, what up, kid? Hello. We meet again, Mr. Pretty Eyes. Don't you call me Pretty Eyes, Pretty Eyes. Yes. We meet again. Did you find your mother and father? Of course. Big Sis is there too. The four of us were just playing hide and seek. 
I'm so happy. On our way here, Papa even brought me to see a flim. A flim? <laughs> I think you mean film. Yes, that's it. Oh. Putting many drawings together and turning them into a moving wall painting. They put me, Good old Papa, flim. Mama, and Big Sis together, turning us into one big family. You should give it a try too, mister. You look sad. The amusement park will cheer you up. <laughs> sure. All right, time to go see this Flim. Play the role of Flim. What was that? Your wounds will never heal. Oh my God. Your wounds will never heal. Let's see the Flim. Oh shit. Hell yeah. Hmm. Oh, I got this. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, Raiders. Oh, I think I can kill them. Yeah. Nice. Pum 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 pum. I like this mini game. Yeah. Safety car. Exit. <laughs> How's that? Not a bad score, eh? The kid's gone. <sighs> boring. How can you say boring? You were so excited about it. Now, if I had time, what does that say? Catch up to the young avenging boy. You are chanted by the event. Just who? There's still time. Maybe you catch up. Watch this evade. I didn't see shit. Why aren't you talking? You piqued my interest. I'll admit that there are still aspects of you that I don't completely understand. What do you mean? I thought you were me. Well, you sound sincere this time at least. Well, sincerity is one of my traits that everybody likes. And I have precious few of those. Moving on. Let See that maze over there? <laughs> I'll know everything about you before you reach the exit. A quaint journey through this amusement park still isn't over. And I wouldn't mind stretching this out at all. Hey, yo, what you mean by that? Hey, what up, camos? Stretching what? Hmm. Rotate. Activate. Activate. Rotate. Activate. Rotate. Rotate. Activate. Bam. Bang, 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 bang. Wow. This place. It's so tall. Even taller than the tallest rocks in the desert. There was no water, only the rock. Rock and no water, Fix only the sandy this road. For you. <sighs> oh no, chat spoiling? Yeah, if you're wondering why we're in sub only mode, chat was spoiling. So. Ah, front line. Oh, what's this? A dead end? Oh, is this the wrong way? It, is this? Oh, what's on ah. your mind? It's got nothing to do with you. Do you need a hint? These are manacles on you. That man gave you your first job. You made your first pot of gold. I remember. Is it really called a job if you were forced to do it? You wrapped that iron chain around your fist. 
For that is the only tool you could find. Weapon. Then, in that maze, you... Shut up. Oh, you don't wish to face your past. Unwilling to admit that your life is worth only 16 tarmas. It was 30. Well, from what I see, you refuse to confront it. Because it only proves your weakness. How could a weak person take such daring risks? Oh, that's right. You love the thrill of danger. But you refuse to let go of meaningless sentiments. Even in this beautiful dream, the only thing you dare allow yourself is death. See, I told you he wants to die. In your hands, those who follow you could have become Oh, it was 60, but eventually wanted to have. Gotcha. That way. It's not like this is the only place the family ever cut corners. Could have had tons of action if you weren't so all or nothing. All it takes is a meager sacrifice. Okay. I bet Opal would have resolved this without a fuss. A pity you're not him. Who the fuck is Opal? Would be in this state if you could just get with the program. And why couldn't you? Out of professional integrity. <laughs> Those techniques you mentioned are Cheats. highly efficient, but it's not that I don't know about them. It's more like I couldn't care less. What fun is it if the fight isn't fair? Hmm. Fair? <laughs> you assume your opponents would fight fair in the first place. The odds are obviously not in your favor, so how are you just breezing by? Did that masked fool's words awaken something in you? Well, she gave me an answer that could turn everything upside down. <laughs> everything? You mean it could make all the cards on the table just disappear? Like this, we go black. <laughs> That's cheating. If these leaves could be brought back, would they bloom into new flowers? Oh, fuck. Amongst the rocks, one cannot stop or think. <sighs> Your expression right now is hard to put into words. The lucky charm on the left you is made from gold. Why did you never consider selling it? Hey, thank you for the prime. You obviously could have lived a normal life like Big Sis that way. Looking back, that was the better choice. Mama only left us with two pieces of jewelry. A necklace and a lucky charm. There won't ever be a third piece. Uh, that's what you always say, but you actually regret it, don't you? That you did it somehow. You can zip it if there's nothing to talk about. Hmm. <laughs> I know. I'm trying you too much soul glad. True. You. you are a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. The words still ring in your ears. You're a good kid, so you definitely won't have forgotten. So, you surely won't forget how tragic her last moments of life were. Mm. Why we gotta be like that? Laughter behind you Why we gotta remind ourselves of that? Drilling into your heart. You ran to his. Oh, my bad, I didn't cut you. You ran away without looking back, just as she told you to. A lifelong regret, indeed. <laughs> Enough! Do you not have anything better to talk about? Oh, shut me down like a Oh my god, dude. Well, I guess when it comes to mind games, this isn't exactly your first rodeo. I think I finally get you. <laughs> Woo! You are not. It's clearly not him. In the end, I'll you know what I mean? This beautiful dream and create the grandest death. Huh? Think about it. There's a Stellaron in play. The fabulous Robin loses her voice. Two unsolved murders. Cryptic messages from a masked fool. And a chance to go head to head with Sunday himself. The only thing to be your interest is one word. The last word. A word that's right there at your fingertips. Death. But whose exactly? His? I mean, 
He probably does want to die. Honestly. <sighs> we'll know when the dice fall. Or Sunday. I mean, here's the thing out of those cards, like two of those, technically three of those five cards have died. <laughs> or six? All right then. Reserve a seat for me in the audience. I'm curious to see just how- Yeah, no one say, obviously, but that's just me so, thinking out loud. you never answered my question. If you could start over, would you still want to be the child who received Gaiafa's blessing? Oh. <sighs> It's so quiet this time. Is he finally gone? Feet deep beneath the sand. Failure, discarded, selfish, useless, pointless, coward, murder, gambler, blessed, discarded, loser, chosen, one, mother, goddesses, beloved, crazy, murderer, blessed, failure, discarded, loser, pointless, coward. Oh my god, my dude is going through Am it. Am I the one about to disappear? Dead mountain mouth of carious teeth. Finally, made it out of this place. Going home? But I don't want to go back yet. Oh my good. Okay. I think I should be able to turn this. Reset place. To activate it once activated, it can be rotated. Sure. So I am forced to use this one. These are my only options. Okay. This is what? Oh, I didn't even see this one down here. I'm fucking blind. I got it, chat. Okay, I'm just blind. One goes here. That one goes. Uh, we gotta rotate it. How do I rotate it? That one goes. Nope. That one go. Nope. 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 Man, fuck puzzles. Grand Duke's fucking spoilers. If there were water and no rock, if there were rock. 
but no water. Oh, brother. Here we go. Hmm. Yeah. You know me. Brother Hanu, where are you going? There's only one place. Shit. Yeah, give me that fucking rocket launcher. Call me Hanu. Firing main cannon, bitch. Yeah, I got it. Hey, miss. Thank you for the subby. Mister, is that you? I hear the sound of leather shoes. So you just assumed it was me? <laughs> ah, it really is you. But it'd just be presumptuous. I don't know why, mister. But you always give me I don't me turn off the sound alerts because you guys are weird sometimes with it. Makes me more curious about you. It's sad that I can't get to know you more. We have to say goodbye. Did you have fun? Not really. I, th uh, I, I realized more mm. about my trauma. You're going back? Yes. I should go home. The day's getting dark, and it's going to rain. I was hearing the thunderstorm and thought it would really in real life. You're home. Where is it? Oh, you know. What a strange question. Hey, for Dianto. Think of three months. In this dream. Huh? <sighs> That's not what I meant. This amusement park. This beautiful dream. They really. Yeah. Really are peaceful. Everyone loves it. It's a prison. But, mister, why don't you like it? Because it's a prison. <laughs> because they're not here. Damn. Where are they then? Dead. I'm fucking tired. I feel that. We all are. Which is why we chose to stay here. Me and him. Your past. Ah! Your future. Well, I mean, I knew it was him, but wow. How long will you stay? Wow. Fuck. This is the greatest honor that we can offer to those who hurtle towards death. <sighs> the road less traveled is less traveled for a reason. You've never gone in any other direction. Your own life is the chip you're most eager to lay down. Always has been. Damn. You don't care who the real murderer is, and the watchmaker's so-called legacy couldn't be more boring. What you want, what you need, is to be the smooth operator, the solid gold deal maker who doesn't waste a drop of sweat, even when he's up to his neck in danger, deep inside family territory. You want to be polished up, cuffed with red hot chains, oh my and God. spotlit center stage. <laughs> You'll be the closing act, the final sacrifice. 
What the fuck? I can do it. And it will be flawless. Damn, he doesn't even deny it. Ugh, of course you can. Your luck will help you at the right time. Stellaron and an emanator. It's that simple now. That simple. <sighs> that way, Bro. the IPC will earn a place at the table. And as for you, you'll just have to slip the leash, sweep the rat race, extract yourself from this endless debacle. You'll have the yeah. freedom you've always dreamed of. Bro. This really was like the adventuring, like, hey, to all of you fuckers that didn't like Aventurine 2.0, aka me, this one's for you. Kakavasha, bro. I love Kakavasha. This motherfucker's. Also, Camden, props to you, my guy. You, you've sold this fucker. It really made Adventuring the main character. Oh, so that's why Diamond chose you. He's just after Panacone. No matter the means, no matter the price. It's not personal. It's hard, isn't it? Well, don't get soft on me now. <laughs> what, did you suddenly grow a conscience? Damn, tell him. I can't stop you from doing what you want. We can't change where you want to go. Well, what's done can't be undone. All we can do is play the cards we're dealt and rake in as much time as possible. Yes. Alas, people won't make all the right choices in their lifetime. Though luck always seems like it's on your side. You will keep winning. Yeah, no, this is his very first VR Why role. You? Why? Must it be you? If all your luck is built on the pain of someone you love, on the loss of dozens more. If these windfalls, these jackpots, aren't a gift from Gyanthra, if all they are is a long string of meaningless deaths, then what did we do to deserve living in a world like that? I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> maybe... Maybe when I get to where I'm going and look back, I'll know what the trip was all about. They he changed his name I want a momentum. to Kakava Shop. Bro, I'm dying. Sure. I'm about to commit Persona, bro. In the game, in the game. Bro, this is so sad. Ah, uh, dad, mom, big sis. You know what have been crazy? As soon as I took the picture, they were all in there. I can see what I look like too. Hey, thank you, Winter, for the sub. Look at the lens when you're taking a photo the next time. Your expression will look more natural. Sure, I will. Then, mister, are you going back too? I can't leave yet. I still have a show to do. Oh, you're about to go on stage, aren't you? Also, shout out to being surrounded by money. Let's go then. I'll take you to the stage. <laughs> sure. 
Andy, thank you for the two months. Oh my god. So you're an actor. No wonder your clothes are so stylish. Yeah, that's it. I'm actually a merchant. But I do have a show to do. But who is on the other side of you? Are you the same as those men in black in the sky? But you're not wearing black. The men in black in the sky? Only ordinary employees have to wear that. My position is much higher than this. <laughs> oh, I guess the dude, awesome. the guard. I hope I can become as good looking as you when I grow up. Oh, that's cute. PC staff. Yeah, that's who that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Over of course you can. endless. You'll be better and stronger than me. And to crack Darth stumble. Dude, and the music. This shit goes crazy. is the grand stage. Thanks, Kakavasha. It's almost time to go on stage. Are you ready? Good luck with your show. Thanks. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> you still seem pretty nervous. Let's put our palms together. <gasps> if you receive Gayathra's blessing, you'll feel more relaxed. Putting our palms together okay, is this a might simple actually ritual. Cry. By putting our palms together and reciting the prayer to Mama Funga, she will bless us. If you're not familiar, I can guide you. Oh, I'm familiar. It's alright. I know how to do it. <laughs> of course I know. Oh my god. This is where we go our own way, Kakavasha. The catechins are coming. No! Why? The catechins have already taken all our money, food, and they killed our parents. What more do they want? Catechins are bloodthirsty, cruel, and insatiably greedy. They want everything only to end up with nothing. This is a trick, an act of revenge, remember? Today is the day of the Kakava, and also your birthday. And also your birthday. They know the Afjin will surely hold a festival today. With the aid of this rain, <gasps> they will come to destroy our wagons the and take everything chat. they want. In Penacone. Little do the Atkins know. This time, we will fight back. The men in black that descend from the skies are on our side. The catechins stand no chance against them and will surely pay for their arrogance. Without this rain, the catechins would never take action and we would not have the chance to turn the tide. This is a gift from Gayathra, and you are Kakavasha, whose good Child fortune will bless Gaya. your sister with success. But, but people will die and you will be in danger. How is that good fortune? Why are you all doing this? The Avjin always return their blood debts. Gayathra calls for me, while Papa and Mama are waiting for me. I must answer the call. But she will bless you with good fortune and help you survive. As long as you are alive, the blood of the Avjin will never run dry. So run, Kakavasha. Do not be afraid, and do not look back. Go to the other side of the mountain. The rain will accompany you, and the rain will bless you. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. Start of Gayathra reincarnation. May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Oh my god, bro. Keep your blood eternally pulsing.
Thank you for the raid. Let your journey be forever peaceful. And your schemes forever concealed. How many people do you think will have this memorized? I might text Camden I'm a, and I'm going to be like, hey, if you ever go to a con, you have to have this memorized. I swear to God, you better have this memorized because if I come up to you and I put my hand on your hand, you better fucking say these words. Farewell, Kakafasha. <laughs> Newsflash from the Inter-Astral Peace broadcast. The IPC Marketing Development Department spokesperson confirms that a small-scale rebellion has broken out in the unclaimed region of Sigonia. The situation is now under control. Hold on, I'm messaging him on Discord. You better know the... Alright, I'm taking a Giazzo. Oh, I can't do that. Shit, I'm on a new computer. Uh... Diathra can't. All right. The insurgents are from a local clan known as Kataka, which has a long history of disdain towards the IPC. Fucking Kataka. This has caused a serious negative impact to the work of the IPC's marketing development department. It is crazy how it always leads back the to the IPC. The clan launched a massive attack on the Abjin, who were under the protection of the IPC, resulting in 6,728 deaths and 3,452 missing. Holy shit! The casualties are currently under the care of the frontline trauma team. The spokesperson expresses his deepest condolences for this devastating humanitarian disaster. At the same time, delivering an important message on this matter to all interplanetary citizens. Finally, he proclaims, the hammer of preservation will fall on all beings, regardless of life or death, regardless of wow. race, regardless of ideology. To the IPC did the nothing to stop rights, either. Here's the thing about the possess. IPC. Like, um, like, I'm sure uh, Kakavasha is well aware of the IPC. Jack shit. It, it just... To me, it just thinks that I, I think he's playing the stupid fucking long game. Right? I think, I think Kakavasha is playing the long game to get to Diamond. While Robin is, not Robin, while Sunday is also playing a long game to get to the Traitor of the Family. It's very interesting how the parallels of the two characters are like this. You know what I mean? It's actually crazy because he's still a slave yes but like he managed to get into this position and he's only been getting higher and higher in the ranks at the IPC Kakavasha <gasps> bye go on stage Kind of put the best fucking show of your life, Camden. Okay. All the actors are in place. It's time for the show to begin. Notice how the... The harmony poisoning thing is gone. This act is dedicated to you. I hope it'll be an unforgettable memory for you. Bro. The fact he's able to bring it down. I love that. He's looking at us, chat! Oh, right, the Kakavasha. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. Oh? You... Do you truly want to destroy the world with your own hands? <sighs> Let's assume. Just assuming now, that every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome. Oh? 
then I would be quite happy to make that wager. Oh, I love adventuring. That's my Kakava shot, chat. Is this Miss Acheron? Yo, so glad. Hello, I'm Himiko, the Astral Express's navigator. Oh, I just realized what's happening here. Hold up a second. Hello, I'm March 7th. I'm sure he needs no introduction, as you definitely know him. Me. Me. Immediately. Hey, I still deserve a proper intro. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Akron. You can call me Clocky. Because uh... I've got the Glocky. Hello? None of you seem surprised by my arrival. Yeah. Since Weld has decided to travel with you, it means that he trusts you. And we trust his judgment. <laughs> I envy your close friendships. Miss Acheron here doesn't present a danger, and she's of no threat to the Astral Express. I told the you the audio was off, chat. accusation was based on nothing more than his own subjectivity. Which is why, before we continue working together, he has a duty to explain himself. You want to Ugh. create a situation where all Hell three yeah. parties are present? All three parties, baby. Cerise Monet, think of the sub. There must be some deeper meaning behind Aventurine's actions. I suspect it's crazy because Aventurine planned this out too. And has been because he said all the actors are set to unveil it. In that sense. Astral Express's role in his plans would be imperative. In the worst case scenario, he may use us to do something unexpected. Assuming things do escalate to that stage, having an extra ally is a good insurance policy. Penacone has numerous factions, and the state of affairs is significantly more intricate than that of Bellabog and the Xianzhou. Peru. Also, it actually would be crazy. Look, to having Topaz as an ally is one thing, but here's the problem, right? Topaz is dedicated to the IPC. Aventurine isn't. So having Aventurine in our, like, pocket would actually be insanity. And the bone of my bat, Stellaron, is my body, and Trailblaze is my blood. Yes, sir. You're talking weird again. But it's a good vibe. No matter what, we can't ignore the safety of Penacone. To solve the mystery of the he Watchmen, also has ratio? it is crucial no, to get No, because Ratio isn't the IPC. Intel. The path ahead Wait, is, is he? with danger. I feel like I keep confusing. He is IPC. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. My bad. My bad. Danger. Um, I keep thinking he's part of the... Intelligentsia Guild when that's not correct. Sounds like we've reached a consensus. Now, uh, Miss Acheron? I will accompany you, of course. Let's go! Let's move out then! Ultimate but bat works, that's right. Do we start Unlimited bat works. No need to rush. If he truly has laid a trap. He will definitely use every means to lure us in. Well, let's go to the trap. Ladies and gentlemen. We found the trap. The most wondrous, most magnificent show in Penacone's history is about to begin. What? The IPC cordially invites everyone to Clock Studios theme park. Good to be back on the air. The IPC cordially invites everyone to Clock Studios theme park. <laughs> Look. Should both the performers and spectators fail to arrive, won't all of Aventurine's plans be for nothing? So you're saying we just shouldn't go? Let's get going, everyone. The hour of trailblazing is upon us. Man, you think this is the trailblaze? Bro, this is the prelude to the trailblaze. Oh, I have a bad feeling that something I'm ready. Let's waste no time. Let's go to the theme park. Mr. Oh. Yang. Yes. Acheron. Hmm? Why did you not tell your companions about my true identity? It's not their business. It's just like you said, uh, an inability rather than an unwillingness. 
Plus, it's a long story, not something that can be summed up in a few words. But I chose to believe you, and my trust in you stems more from my own personal judgment. Aww, from the callback, it's like, look, you might not be her, but you seem a lot like her. House on screen, bitch, I know. I also believe that if it were their choice to make, they would make the same one. Hey, think about the sub. I mean, let me teach you the complete incorrect way to play these games. Thank you. I'm grateful. To reciprocate. In the upcoming confrontation, if the odds aren't in the Astral Express's favor, Hey. I will stand with you. Dude, having an emanator on our side is even crazier. If my meager strength is required. Meager? My guy. Okay, we need normal ice physical. We got this. This is my squad. Let's get in there. We're back here again. Aventurine actually chose a really conspicuous location. Hmm, how conspicuous? Oh, that guy's really taking it to a whole new level. Does he really think he's a superstar or yes. something? Yes. Yes, he does. Not a soul in sight. Ooh. The hounds drove out the visitors, and now their whereabouts are unknown too. Mm. Everyone, pay attention. The other party has obviously come prepared. Oh. Oh, chat, I'm going to need this in my playlist. Also, chat, I'm taking a page out of Zeno's notebook. So, uh, while we were signing, Zeno had a speaker and was playing music. I'm going to be doing that from now on. And this is going to be on there. But before I continue, chat, um I have to use the restroom, so I'll be right back. Also, thank you for the sub. I'm going to leave you with this song. All right, chat. Let's do this. Let's get on the stage. Oh. Hmm. That's me. Hey. And yes, apparently they did nerf this boss battle. Astral Express. You're late. And this. Unsung guest. Hi there. We've kept your appointment, Mr. Aventurine. It is customary to show yourself as well. <laughs> oh, I will, naturally. But before that, I've got to introduce our guest of honor. Oh, sure. Everyone, give it up for Mr. Stellaron. Oh. We're not here for any pageantry. Does this have anything to do with the wanted murder? Mommy, look, I'm on TV. Uh, uh. I gotta give some comedic relief chat. You know, I just gotta get in there, you know? Hey, thank you for the gifted sub. And thank you, Deadly, for the 18 months. Let me remind you that in all likelihood, this stage... Guys, I turned off the sound. ...his identity have nothing to do with the wanted murderer. Oh, no, they do. Huh? Of course. Thank you for the sub. Otherwise, why would I work so hard to gain your trust and then invite you all here? Huh. Because he's the only one who saw all three homicides. He is the key to proving that the family's death it does not exist in Train's promise is nothing but a sham. Uh, I mean, I guess that is true. And wait, three deaths? Three homicides? That's right, madam. The oh. third one is about to happen right now, right here in Clock Studios theme park. A truly grand death. Okay. You, 
you, you, and you. All of you are going to die. And it's all because of you, Mr. Stella. Dude, the music is crazy. You will become the personification of death. Oh! What are you on about? <laughs> I thought my intent was crystal clear. Let me be a little clearer. I will detonate the stellar huh? and cause a teeny tiny accident on Panacone. Bam! The entire theme park will be reduced to a shattered dream. This then is not my adventuring. Chat, he's playing the long game, he's playing the long game. Your bluff isn't fooling anyone. If you could really do that, you would have done so earlier. You wanna bet? <laughs> ah. Sure. I'll bet with you. I'm betting that it'll be a sweeping victory for me. By detonating an unprecedented explosion to prove that the vow of harmony is a complete and utter joke. You won't do it. Of course I can. It's Dude, just the rain game. in the game, the thunderstorm. I came from the wastelands of Sagonia for just 60 red copper coins. People paid to brand me. Put me in chains. Place me in the gallows and bury me in the golden sands. But the sun could not kill me. And the quicksand sent me back to the embrace of the guild and the NPC. Bear in mind, my victory wasn't just a stroke of luck. No. I've never been defeated. Have you ever heard the saying, sleep is the rehearsal of death? Why do the living sleep? Oh, because we are not ready for the final What rest. the fuck? Every night is practice for the end. You and I are escaping into our dreams for fear of death at this very moment. And death will surface in our dreams. Friends, the game has commenced, and you cannot choose to decline. Nor okay. Do you have any reason or grounds to. Bet. Oh, cutscene. The dice are cast. Ladies and Dude, gentlemen. Dude, the raven. Ready to unveil your cards. The hat, baby! The architect's flawed stone. <laughs> and the shades. Of no value at all. I'm putting down the bet. Oh, they're D20s. I'm taking the gamble. I mean, probably D10s. I'm claiming the win. Ooh, spades. Oh, it fades in the wheel. A daring gamble. Oh, no, he's One hot! On the brink of death for rebirth. Oh. Nah, he's hot as fuck. All right. Let's see who has the last look. Also, chat, that hat is 100% based off. That hat is 100% based off, Jade. Hmm, the music. Hmm. Let's play. Can you find the answer? <laughs> Time for the... Show no mercy. Hmm. Conflict is hideous. <laughs> oh shit. You chose the wrong enemy. Ah. Uh, let me heal up real quick. Eternal sleep. The dead return. Ah. Uh, nah, Pentagoni's music is just different. There's no time to lose here. It's thunder. Nah, he, dude, that's so hot. Oh, I've run into a dilemma. Three. Oh. This is fine. I'll go easy this time. You want to me? Conflict is pitiless. 
Show no mercy. Bah! Yeah, Grace take that. Elegance. Dummy dumb. Eternal. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. Mm. Mm. Molly with the raid. How's it going, Raiders? And welcome to the gambling match. If you're wondering why it, we're in sub-only mode, it's because chat is full of people who are spoiling. Thank you for the raid, though. I do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Welcome. I am Sayu, the voice of this dude, Jing Yuen. And uh, welcome. Thunder. <laughs> Thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Hope you all had a great stream. And uh, yeah, welcome to the show. Also, this music is just banging. Follow my charge. Follow my charge. I'll see you. Thank you for the raid, Molly. Appreciate you. You should probably hear. Receive divinity. So this is. Eternal slip the dead return. Ooh, the sax. Can I move up? Yeah, let's get it. Let me hit them all. Why pick one? Nine points. <laughs> Show no mercy. Hit them all, baby. Let's gamble. You chose the wrong enemy. It's all or nothing. Oh. <laughs> ah, that's fine. Time Show for the master mercy. stroke. Don't worry, Chad, I got it. Is that it? Come on. He's pitiless. Damn. Trash. Did that hurt? Oh, watch this. That's right. Can you find the oh, I guess moving Jing Yuan up meant nothing. Some value, I suppose. <laughs> Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. Jing Yuan is carrying the team, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Follow my charm. You, it's thunder. I'll go easy. Yeah, you thought. <laughs> Not today. There's no time to lose. Conflict is pitiless. You thought. <laughs> You bitch. You're such a bitch. Yeah. We got four. I'll see you off. Change it up. Eternal step. Dead return. <laughs> you is thunder. Hey. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Show no mercy. Let's play. Can you find the answer? What? That's it. It's Eternal a wrap. Sleep. The dead return. Everybody's like that. Down to the last player. So why can't I be? People have trouble with this. Why can't I feel that dream? Even, even I know they nerfed him, but even then, people have trouble with this. Oh, that's hot. Let's go, Himiko. Always hide your ace. Face. Ooh. I'm starting to get a little impatient with you all. <laughs> God, he's so hot. <laughs> Friends, to fully relish this, I'm betting every last chip. Only by casting aside reason does one truly can. What the fuck is he doing? <gasps> um. Damn. What are you gonna do, Agaron? Emanator? Um. Wait a minute. You're leaving? Huh? <sighs> Perhaps. I might pass through the place you mentioned. Pentecombe. What do you hope to find within a dream? I'm not looking for anything. They aren't in a dream. 
They aren't in I'm a dream. The family will not open the doors for you. Why? Mm. Because the path you walk is not accepted by the harmony. Ah. Even if that's not what I want. Precisely because it's not what you want. Because they are not like other eons. Hmm. They have never glanced at anyone. And they never need to. They leave woven strands of fate for humans to walk. And together, they weave a great shadow. And this shadow silently envelops them. There are always those who rise from the shadows. They mostly become a part of the shadow. In your eyes, am I the same? You still have a strand of color. Ah, uh, just a little bit, a little red in you. Not much. <sighs> that is enough. But a little red. Before they vanish completely. Huh? I will reach the nihility's end. Oh! Oh my god! Fight back! <gasps> oh. I wish to mourn the departed. Weeping like rain. To swell the crossing stream. Brother! As the tide arrives, leading you back home. Oh my god. Bro, this looks insane. Also, shout out to Welp just about to pull out the black hole, by the way. Are we not gonna talk about how well literally was pulling out the black hole? Dude, the color scheme. Is my guy dead? What, what is this place? A ah. gigantic black hole. And see. Have I have I succeeded? No, you're not dead yet. Where are we? She replied, I want to die. Welcome to this sad world, Kakavasha. I don't like the water effects. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Avgen have. Bro. You came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. Dude, what the fuck? Well, status. Fame um, power, you missed it by one. The IPC will give you whatever you want, even what you don't want. We know it's you, Jade. Thank you for the hat, for by the way. We will reunite in Kakava's next Aurora. It's a pity this is not the place you were expecting. Huh? Acheron? <gasps> oh, and she's still... Melody, is it? <sighs> Perhaps to you, I am just an emanator who's hiding her identity. But. The sleeping and shapeless never glance at anyone. They have no face, no form, and even less of a will to speak. The nihility envelops everyone equally. Only some who have gone under their shadow can go farther, tainting themselves with more nihility. <laughs> That's all. 
My friend, you really leave me at a loss for words. So... Is this my final destination? The land of the dead? This is all but a fleeting dream. One of the thousands of manifestations of Ix. Under the watchful eye of Nihility, we momentarily linger here before moving on to our own paths. Well... It seems that my death has already been determined. Even if you wish for it, I can't promise you anything. Damn. Bro, she looks so cool. Now that you've accomplished your goal, I think you can be a little more forthcoming. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, you know what we mean, bitch. Spill the beans! Your performance at the theme park was wonderful and grandiose. A simple yet practical technique that fooled almost everyone. No one would have ever thought that you would have gone to such lengths. Even staking your life just to prove a fact that had seemingly been disproved long ago. Real death does not exist in Penacone's dreamscape. Yeah. <laughs> Why would I do this? Because this is the only way you can uncover a secret that is even more unspeakable than the serial murders. To use this dream death to get there. To that promised land people constantly seek in this grand gathering. Bro, the fucking... These two. Allegra, Camden, fuck you guys. You're... You're great. Penacone. The legacy of the Watchmaker. The true land of exile. How did you find out? I never imagined that something I learned about unexpectedly would become the key to connecting everything. It's our Stellaron friend's identity, isn't it? I see you're in the know. <laughs> I'm in the know. I'm in the know. I've got the script. Let's just say I put money on the possibility. The murder isn't nearly enough to disrupt business as usual. Even if there were one or two murders on Penacone, most people wouldn't be personally affected. And that won't create any waves. This dream of theirs isn't I... a boundless sea. It's a lonely island. The Memory family zone. used the harmony to build a high wall and isolate them from the vast and treacherous ocean of the outside world. Of actual Penacone. That barrier they build keeps death out. But it also keeps the secrets that are lost in that watery abyss from floating to the surface. In a beautiful dream, free of suffering. Who would want to go fishing for those secrets? No one. Unless... Unless someone goes to the other side of the barrier. Oh. And lives to tell the tale. Someone already has. I got the idea early on, chewing on that masked fool's little hint. Yeah. If a mute isn't someone who cannot make a sound, then it has to be someone who cannot speak. Oh. Someone who survived the treacherous depths, but is unable to take the stage and speak the truth. <laughs> well, I'm happy to know she's safe and sound, and still on Penacone. Hint. Is that not proof? Well, proof is the one thing I don't have. The only thing that can prove these... conjectures... is for the family to come clean. Mm. And with the way they buttered up these outsiders, it seems pretty clear they're intent on covering their tracks. But you don't need proof to have a suspicion. And for me, suspicion is enough. I didn't need Sorry, to find I'm not the saying much. I'm just paying attention. I just needed for someone to kill me like it killed that silver-haired girl. You don't sound very confident to me. Going out of your way to make citywide broadcasts in an attempt to involve more people. <laughs> you are simply betting on the possibility of someone being able to break down the barrier. You're very lucky that fate has decided to let us cross paths. I happen to be equipped with a very sharp blade. Sharp enough to slice through the veil of dreams. I can also <gasps> carve the Harmony's brand off of you. Let's go! Fuck the Harmony! You possess great cunning. 
Deliberately setting us up to be on opposing sides. Constantly repeating the words of the Emanator in front of others. Leaving me no choice but to draw my blade against you. This motherfucker was goading you the whole time. He's so smart. And that's how you win. Opportunity and strategy. Both are essential. And in your plans, the IPC always wins. Even if you lose the bet. To the family, the life of an ambassador is still invaluable. Well, it's a huge gamble, isn't it? But allow me to point out a mistake. The IPC's success is not guaranteed. I, unfortunately, have no contingencies for such an important matter. Detonating a Stellaron. Hey, I think of the gifted. The Aventurine Stone is too broken to even safeguard my escape from the stage. That is also the crazy part, right? The, the Aventurine Stone is broken, so he wasn't at his full power. Think about that, chat. Think about that. If, at the end of the day, you did not unsheath your blade, I would have lost the bet. It is pointless to discuss what-ifs. You have won. Your prize is an entry ticket into that deep sea. And after this, whether you can return from the abyss is another gamble of yours. My god. Have you never wavered? Wavered? <laughs> of course I have. But I can only bank on my own good fortune. Because other than that, I have nothing. Fuck. Wake up from this dream and go to where you should be. Your gamble is not over yet. Why was dream in red? Before we part, can you answer one more question? As someone who has traveled on that road, can you tell me, why are we born into this world? If it's just to die? Damn. I don't think this, I never have. Nor do you. But the nihility envelops you and I. And everyone. And because of that, it's pointless. Hmm. But it is still there. Hmm. If the dice of fate are always weighted, then that is our destiny. Why then do we struggle against it? Man, it is crazy how all of Honkai Star Rail always goes back to fate and destiny. Like, I know that it's like, it's like, no, we don't. But really think about it. Like, literally, Elio has the script, knows that everything is going to happen. Sure, certain things might change along the way. But at the end of the day, they all end up in the same road. Like, literally look at Sam as an example. Sam at the beginning of 2.1 was like, I... I, Elio told me I can do whatever I want, but I have to do this one fucking thing. Davos, thank you for the raid. And it's just crazy to me how it all comes back to fate and destiny and how there is a script. And it's almost like, what is the point? Why struggle against it if we're all going to get end up in the same fucking road? My answer might not be able to resolve your confusion because it has been with you throughout your journey and is already a part of your life. But you said, sleep is the rehearsal of death. So why does life sleep? Because we are not ready to welcome death. Mm. So you can definitely understand why we want to be prepared. Hold on. Oh, neat. That's cool. Anyway. The script has been mentioned since the first cutscene in the game. Yeah, it is crazy. Why we want to be prepared. Hold on. Sleep is the rehearsal of death, so why does life sleep? Because we are not ready to welcome death. 
would that be considered nihility or nanook? That's the question. Are we prepared for... What, what are we... Hmm. Even if the ending has been predetermined, that's fine. There are countless things that humans cannot change. Maybe nihility? But that's the thing, right? Nihility is always there. That's what, that's what, uh, Aventurine and Acheron just established, that Nihility is always there, surrounding everybody, but Nanook is destruction and literally coming for us all, right? All the eons are against Nanook, so I think it's X, uh, IX, but the thing is, is that Nanook literally wants to kill everything. It really is. So it's just interesting. Like, I, I, I get what you mean, Nihility, obviously, death. A hundred percent, but it just makes me wonder if in this context, it's referring to Nanook. But before the end, there are many things that humans can do while on their journey. Hey, it's all about the journey, baby. And because of this, the end will thus reveal a completely different meaning. Maybe the end is a new beginning. Punkai Star Rail, part two. Let's get it, baby. The way to celebrate. I'll be waiting till you make. Take a good look at your pocket. Your friend has already given you the answer. Friend being who is the question. Good luck. Damn, she sounds so pissed. Oh, ratio! The impossible in the dreamscape is not death, but rather dormancy. Do stay alive. I wish you the best of luck. Damn. Even when we thought this fucker betrayed us. Mina, Mina, Mina. Welcome. Thank you for the raid. Chat, if you're wondering, hi raiders, how's it going? I'm Sayu. If you're wondering why it's in sub only mode, it's because people in chat were spoiling the game. So thank you, Mina. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the raid. How's it going, raiders? I am Sayu, the voice of Jingyuan in Honkai Star Rail. You might recognize me because I am missing from Mina's fucking character roster. And, um,. She keeps losing 50-50s because she doesn't have Jing Yuan. And she will continue to lose 50-50s until she gets Jing Yuan. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, thank you for the raid, Mina. You're great. Um, I hope uh, Night in Pentagon was really cool. And uh, yeah, uh, we are at the tail end of it. So uh, thank you. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate you. And it's the funniest shit is she can't say anything in my chat. Here, I'll give you the... I'll give you this, Mina. I'll give you this. There, I gave you VIP, so you should be able to talk and defend yourself. I just like giving you shit, really. Oh, and someone just gave you a gifted sub, so there you go. <laughs> I have no excuse. Well, you heard it here, chat. No fucking excuse. She literally E6 fucking Acheron. And she can't even get one fucking Jing Yuan. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anyway, thanks for the raid, Mina. Hope you all had a good stream. Is Mina E6ing adventuring? Bro, you mean her type? <laughs> yeah, no, she's E6ing adventuring. And let's be honest, there's just no way she's not. No, 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 I won't. Stop deluding yourself and stop lying to my face. Um, I'm just saying. Let's be honest. Didn't you see six Navi or some shit? Maybe Robin? What? Look, at least get some plot on Robin before you go making it, it before you blind to the rest of your chat. Anyway, thank you for the raid. I hope you had a, all had a good stream. By the way, if anybody in chat wants to know uh, what else I've been in voiceover wise, exclamation point VA in the chat. And uh, you'll be able to see, uh, like, a lot of the roles that I voiced. So, there you go. Anyway, we're going to continue. 
<laughs> Classic ratio. <sighs> then I shall get going. Oh, thank you, Ferdy. Oh. <gasps> Mr. Kakavasha! You're leaving? You ultimately chose to leave this dreamscape. I'm sorry, Kakavasha. Did you enjoy the show, baby? Did you enjoy, baby boy? Yes. Because they are not here. My papa, mama, and big sis. Then where are they? Yo, 2.1 might have some of the best soundtrack in this entire game. They are in a place where everyone will go. A very... Very distant place. What a good shot. Then are you going to? I'll get there one day. But not now. There will come a day when the sky will drizzle, and I will hear the call of Gyathra Triclops, and know that it is time for me to go, and be bro. reunited with my family. Is that? Bro, I didn't even make the connection that that, when it rained in Penacone, it was almost like simulating the call of Gyathra Triclops because of the rain. Dude, this man fully expected to die. <laughs> so, until that time comes, I should be preparing. Bro. Honkai Star Rail writing is literally on another level. Preparing for what? The end. Well, preparing to face them, Kakavasha. And to make them proud. Oh, fuck. Mm. I know you'll be able to do it. Oh, fuck. Good luck. Thanks, Kakavasha. <laughs> well, of course. For I am a child who received the blessing of Gyathra Triclops. <laughs> but you still seem nervous. Of course. <laughs> well, I seem that way because I am nervous. You know what? Maybe you can help. Don't you hold the hand thing. What do you say? One last time. <gasps> oh my Put our palms together. god. Fuck! And it's animated. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Are you going now? Yes. May the mother goddess thrice close her eyes for you. Oh my god. Keeping, Keeping your, your blood, blood eternally, eternally pulsing. pulsing. May your journey be forever peaceful. And your schemes forever concealed. Our paths will cross again beneath Kakava's shimmering auroras. Nah. Aventurine is probably top five characters. Farewell. And he left the hat. Kakavasha. Kakavasha! <laughs> nah, bro. Camden ate that shit. With hope for the morrow nestled in my heart, I descended into the slumber of tonight. Until the denouement of all coming morrows kisses me, I have then embraced the quiet death. But this man is different. He lives and breathes in the present. In every sinking night, by every daring gamble, no vision of morrow ever graced his dream. His life knows not quietude. His fate yet demands him to win them all, to weather tempests, one after another, till mire enshrouds his very breath. And now, in the unfathomable depths of dream, the once fallen die has at last landed on its earthly rest. Quietly, peacefully, it at last ends. The light of the Aventurine Stone <gasps> has disappeared. This 
only represents one outcome. My guy. He kept his promise. Huh? And got what he wanted. Fuck. <laughs> As planned, your cornerstone has been successfully sent to the family's territory. Oh? Then... Let's fulfill our duty and start harvesting. What does that mean? Bro, everyone's in a 5D chess game! Thereafter, in the cradle of slumber, or steep within the sweet dream of the planet of festivity, another stone begins to radiate light. I come for an audience. I come to fill wine. And I come to claim. Oh, shit. I bestow poison in the guise of sweet dew. Come the toil of spring and yield a fall. I patiently wait for the branches to be heavy with withered fruits. All for the Amber Lord. Oh, is Jade coming to Penacony? Oh, it's going down. Meanwhile, memory zone depths. You try to open your eyes, but find only blackness before you. And whose POV is this? <laughs> Memories gradually resurface as time rewinds to a few minutes ago. Aventurine unleashed, unleashes the final assault, pouring down a dazzling shower of chips, followed closely by Acheron drawing her blade and then... Crash. The indescribable force severs the power of preservation, while time and space froze instantly. Your thoughts twist into a knot as your senses fail, with only gravity tearing at your mind as you plummet into the boundless darkness, until a fire engulfs you in its embrace. Yes, I'm Sayu. You're awake. Sam! Okay, I didn't want to say it was Sam, but Sam! I've been waiting on you for quite a while. I've been waiting for this. It's you. What have you done? That's what's happening here. Uh, crevice between dreams. You've met me before. I'm Sam, a Stellaron hunter. I originally planned on showing up earlier to reveal some truths to you. Oh, thanks, Sam. But I encountered more roadblocks than expected. Eleven times huh? I've tried, but ended in failure. Before I knew it, this world and I became too intertwined, and it became too mm. difficult to escape the constraints of the script. The scripts. Elio is right. In this land of the dreams, you and I will reap unforgettable gains. I don't know people's hearts as well as he and Kafka do. Nor do I have a specialty like Silver Wolf and Blade. Most of the things that I'm good at only apply to villains who need no mercy. Sam just a Power Ranger ready to beat the shit out of anybody that gets in his way. So... There is only one method that I use. This is to show you. <laughs> it's my girl! All that I am. Whoa, the face. To be continued. That's where you end it? You bastards. Labyrinth like oh, okay. corridors and Gallagher. Holes, oh boy. Traps everywhere. The owner of this mansion must be a bit paranoid. Okay, I turned back uh, sound alerts. Ah, Sunday. <laughs> you are so funny, Mr. Security Officer. I hope that sense of humor of yours has helped you find the serial killer. Just expressing a personal opinion. Why? Did I hit a nerve? Mr. Gallagher, my patience is wearing thin. Neglecting duties Neglecting will only duties. make me more suspicious that you and the real serial killer are connected. What the dog doing? Really? <sighs> Scoundrel, punk, drunk, 
Hooligan? Oh no, I have heard this trash talk all too often. But I have never once thought that I'd be treated as an accomplice to a murderer. I, I take back what I said. Your problem isn't paranoia. You're just crazy, you know? Lunatic! Pop off, Gallagher! Pop off! They're gonna laugh it off, aren't they? You, the family, you broke my spine, oh. pulled out my fangs, and now you want to accuse me of murder? Ridiculous. Only idiots who've drunk too much soul glad will berate a stray dog in the streets. Jesus. Pop off, Gallagher! Gallagher's dying, isn't he? What exactly is making you say all this nonsense? You should be more concerned about the outworld visitors who are making a scene in the theme park than me. You what? I don't need you to remind me. Once that ambassador walks through the doors of the mansion, I will know what he wants. My servants see everything. His little magic tricks may have fooled me, but no matter, I'm happy to see how it's turned out. His servants being ah, the birds? No. Why do you think that I just let him go? And why do you think I emptied the theme park stage? Oh. Because my target from the beginning has always been you, Hound. Oh! The more noise he makes, the more opportunities I have to make you and your true master pay in blood. Oh! Oh no! Like that? If I were really the murderer, why would you need to be so secretive? Ha! Huh, I forgot. You what? You also have a difficult master to serve. Telling you to ignore the murder case and focus solely on that Charmony festival. God damn, they had each other's throats! Isn't that right, oh, my brother? brother? this guy stinks! Wait a fucking minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute! What the fuck, my brother? <sighs> Looks like your disguise has helped you successfully understand every facet of the family. Disguise? You must be blind to be accusing me of being a fake. Open your eyes and take a good no. look. What? <sighs> Indeed, every part of you is real. The brown hair, soft and curly like Benny's. The orange eyes, which make me miss the gaze of Sir Whitaker. That odd scar, the mark of Woolsey. What is going on? And the gray vest, tie, hound emblem, bottle, the bartending, and your role as a security officer. These are all true traits from all 52 loyal family members. Oh no. When they are gathered, countless oh, tiny brother truths in the, are woven in the together family into sense. a lie. Okay. You, you collected what? a small piece of each of them and claimed them for yourself. Then you invented this facade. A complete Gallagher. Ah, uh, Gallagher. Uh-huh. Tell me I'm wrong. What? You didn't say it. You didn't say it. Say the full line. Tell me I'm wrong. You didn't say it. It's a bug, damn it. You what? <laughs> <laughs> you have guts, I'll give you that. Not bad. I severely underestimated you. What? Oh no. Admiral. But so what? Can this prove that I murdered your sister and that stowaway? This proves that you and the memory zone meme death are linked. And that's enough. Listen up. I don't care how you did it. I only care about one thing. The answer to a question. You devil. You wretched, despicable dog. Why did you kill her? <laughs> oh no! <sighs> you know, in the thick of things, 
people are blind. I'm to going it. to pound Rise. you until you yeah, beg. They can always feel it scratch. <laughs> Want the answer? I'll give it to you. <laughs> the whole thing is just fate playing a cruel joke on us. Oh no! Wow. My boy Gallagher, crazy. Here's the craziest part about Gallagher. Because it wasn't recorded. They only added the subtitle a day after the patch went live. All right, all right, relax, relax. Chat, chat, chat. I'm muting that. I'm muting that. I have thoughts. I have feelings. First of all, the Gallagher twist, crazy. They really made us think. Oh, you know. This four star, don't worry about him. Like, this four star down here, psh, he's cool. He's rugged. That's all you get. Like, don't, don't you worry about him. You know what I mean? Now I do have to say, chat, a couple of things. The Sam Firefly thing, you want me to be honest? I knew it since day one. You think I knew that shit since day fucking one. And here's the thing, chat. Um, it wasn't because of leaks. It wasn't because of leaks. It's because I... I auditioned for Sam. <laughs> That's really cool about Gallagher. So yeah, uh, I knew about that because I auditioned for Sam. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I I I was like, oh, I wonder how much they kept. And I was like, oh, that's different. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Um, the biggest plot. I know. Here's the problem with being an actor and being in these things, man. You get spoiled. <laughs> Thank you for the pennies, by the way. Um, also, I do want to say, chat, I technically, technically, even before that audition, I called it differently, differently, but I did call this. Do you guys, who here has watched me play Honkai Star Rail since almost the beginning? Because here's the thing. There was a time where I said, and you can go back. I don't remember when I said it, but I was like, bro, wouldn't it be crazy if a storyline I said with Elio that if we just a random looking NPC, you know, we hung out with them and we played through like this whole scenario and then the big reveal is that this random person that you've literally been playing with would be Elio. They did that exact thing, but with Firefly and Sam. This was like literally last like April. when I, It was either in April or May when I said this. And I, when, I, when I got the audition and I saw the plot twist, I was like... I, I knew, I called this. I literally called this. I literally called this. Literally, as I was looking through the audition, I was like, I called this. Different character, but I called that this scenario would play out. And it's actually crazy. It's actually crazy, bro. Oh my gosh. But yeah. Yeah, that, that shit was boggled my mind because I was like, I cannot believe I actually called a, a whole plot thread before it was even, you know, I thought that was really cool. Um, as for Gallagher, did not expect it. Honestly, the age 13 thing, uh, what a great foreshadow as to that being it. Should we have seen it coming that 
it, honestly, if we really took it into perspective, like uh, we should have like took it, like been like, oh, you know, like that makes sense that it's Gallagher. I mean, he's the watchmaker's descendant. Like he's infiltrated the family, took him in, and now he's like he didn't do anything. So now, after years, he's finally fucking doing something. You know what I mean? Yeah. I suspected Gallagher because of Misha. What about Misha? Because I feel like Misha might be it. Well, I feel like Misha being the true descendant of um of like the watchmaker makes the most sense because Misha is the only one who can see Clocky. And if Clocky is meant to be the watchmaker, like, you know, that that telling, then uh yeah. Every time a family member said, who's Gallagher, bro. Gallagher is the only playable with lines about Misha, really. Uh, voice. Show me some of that trail. Enough gallivanting, kid. Better get to bed early or you won't grow. Interesting. We've seen many outsiders come to Penacony, but locals leaving? That's rare. She must have had her reasons. He reminds me of the Odes of Harmony. <laughs> but I caught a whiff of something behind the facade he puts on. Something real. Misha's a sensible kid. Me? At his age, I was just a little terror. <laughs> Biting everyone in sight. Interesting. <laughs> then Misha. About Clocky, about the nameless uh, It's Gallagher. typical to see Gallagher immersed in his work on the streets of Penacony. Huh. He's always been so responsible and committed. Interesting. You miss it, lol? What'd I miss? The RAR? Oh, he has a nameless thing? What are you talking about? Grandpa told me it's never too late to have a dream. He said, what matters is how much you aspire to make it come true. <laughs> I'll never forget this. There will come a day when I'll make both my and grandpa's dreams a reality. Okay, first of all, chat. This is going to sound weird. I literally ignored Gallagher's roar because it just made sense to me. It just didn't seem weird to me. Like, I was like, Gallagher roar? Yeah, he's a dog. Makes sense. Moving on. Like dead ass. I'm not even kidding. Like I didn't even acknowledge. It. I was like, yeah, that that's Gallagher. Why why the fuck wouldn't you work? <laughs> uh, as for this, Grandpa is Grandpa the the watchmaker. Because Misha has talked about Grandpa. So and we've like alluded to Misha having some more importance than we've gotten. You know. I do need to level up these two. These are the only ones I don't have at 80. Um, so it's very interesting. And honestly, now that Gallagher has been revealed to be like the murderer, like, it, I mean, we really can't. Uh, like, I mean, even before we should have been paying attention, right? Like I should have been paying attention. Like Ting Yoon, you know, being possessed by Fantilia. We might actually get an answer to where Ting Yoon actually is. But like, I mean, the four stars are not folks to sleep on you know when it comes to plot i mean sampo for fuck's sake was helping out sparkle but um yeah these two very interesting the only four stars of Penacony. am i crazy they are the only four stars of Penacony. these four stars actually plot relevant yeah Dude, it's just crazy. But yeah. Hmm? I said four stars, chat. It does seem like everybody does have a, a plot. A, a, a space and plot when it comes to Star Rail. Like, even it doesn't matter if you're a five star or four star or whatever. Yeah, we love that four stars do get five star lore. I, I actually do love that. I The thing is, is that obviously there is a difference in quality when it comes to four stars and five stars in this game. Like... You know, like being playable and being able to do the the things and stuff. So, um, but uh, Bloodhound Contractor. 
Uh, cool. I just filming. But yeah. Yeah. What a what a story, chat. What a story. Um we won't compromise our own interests for the family for your information. You can create your own animation in this program, and if your work is good enough. Uh are you trying to make me work for free, Lamau? Dude, Panacone Bro. Panacone's story is so goddamn good. Cause like I'm able to call like I'm usually able to call stuff happening in games, right? But uh Panacone has been one of those where I have not been able to consistently do that. Um like the only thing I knew when it came to Panacone was literally the Firefly twist because and the only reason I knew that is because of the um is because of the audition I had, you know. Um the arena where you fought adventuring. Sure, that'll probably be the last thing I do, and then we're gonna bounce. And by we, I mean me. Uh, ba -ba -ba Clock Studios. Where would that be? Like over here? Yeah. Theme park entrance. Oh, dude, the lyrics for White Knight, like, literally, is just the what's happening in Pentacone. I love how the pieces are just here. Mr. Jigsaw, get out of here, Mr. Jigsaw. Oyo's script is scarier than Elio. <laughs> Bro, the story of, like, Star Rail is just leagues above, like, a lot of other games. Like, look, I, I, I've played a lot of games that are, like, sci-fi or, like, you know, like, I've played a lot of gacha games, like, bro, holy shit. Dude. What are you guys doing? Trying to fix it up? Talk about masked fools, am I right? I don't understand. How am I supposed to fix this? You should what? Watch the video about White Knight. Uh, not tonight, but uh, maybe later. A home is a mysterious thing. The longer you leave it, uh, okay. Are you missing your home? Okay, I thought you would have a uh, pentagon. He's great. Uh, I thought they were going to, uh, talk about the, this. Um, just fucking wow, dude. Uh, yeah. No, like, Penacone really, I hope that Penacone's writing is just Honkai Star Rail writing going forward. Also, by the way, by the way, chat, um... I don't know what it is. Uh, I guess, look, I, I understand the Penacone story is really good, but I don't know what it is that made Penacone, like, after Penacone made people go, it's like, bro, psh, the Sienjo Lafu was dog shit. Bellabog was boring. Fucking, but, uh, Pen and I was like, look, I love Penacone, and I think it is, like, the best writing Penacone, or er, er, Star Rail has ever had. But to say that Bellabog and Sienjo were dog shit, you're full of crap. Like, my god. Like, the pacing was obviously different. Uh, I feel like the Pentacone pacing is way faster, but it's also filled with way more dialogue in comparison. Um, I don't know. But I just don't think that... I don't know. Like, people literally losing their goddamn shit. Uh, like saying both Sienjo and Bellabog were dog shit. I'm like, bro, all right, let's let's relax, okay? Let's calm down. Dude, I've enjoyed all of Honkai Star Rail story. So where the fuck is Firefly? Someone was telling me there's something in Firefly's location. I'm gonna get got. I'm gonna get got. I'm gonna get got. I didn't get got. I didn't get got. I didn't get got. Oh, a delightful surprise. 
Middle left side of the map. Middle left side of the map. Thank you. Should have the Akron insta kills. You are correct. So where's this new dialogue, fellas? Oh. The observation deck with breathtaking views. You can almost see the entire dream's edge at a glance. It's not an easy place to find. The person who introduced it to you truly values your friendship by sharing this view. You think back at the times you spent with her, all those cherished memories, but the one you'll never forget was the complex world of emotions when she first revealed her true identity to you. Was her past identity all just a ruse? Were those tears when she got stabbed all just an act? Is that being, that thing which fought while being covered in heated flames, who she really is? Doubt and confusion leave you discombobulated. After all, the line between what's real and what's false in this dreamscape is far more blurred than it seems. Gazing up at the tall towers before you, you lose yourself deep in contemplation. That rat bitch! Nah, I'm just kidding. Also, uh, shout out to your name. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, Panacone's great. It's, uh, it's a great game. Honkai Star Rail, I've enjoyed the whole time. Life is as ephemeral as, as do on a leaf. And full of worldly strife. Well, chat, that's today's stream. Thank you all for stopping by. We finished. We caught up. We are now caught up to Honkai Star Rail. I still have some side stuff to do. Um, I might be uh, doing other stuff. What? Check? Chat saying check in-game PFP. Oh, brother. You guys are be like, check this, check that. All right. What I'm looking at. None. Oh, Aventurine. Bullseye. What? What am I looking at? The bottom. <gasps> That's just depressing. And how fucking dare you? How dare you, chat? You bastards. Anyway, thank you all for stopping by. We're going to end the stream. 